How you doing, guys? Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming in. We have uh, Vato. What's up, Vato? My nephew, L.I., what's up? <laughs> <laughs> we have Bearded Wolf. What's happening? Rob Brandon, uh, what's up, Rob? How you doing, man? Billy, what's up, Billy Rogers? What's going on? And we have uh, Graham's Beard Care. We have Sean in the house. Hey, Sean, how you doing, brother? And Andrew, Andrew Carlisle. What's up, Andrew? How you doing, brother? We got a couple of uh, things to unbox today. Yep, welcome in, guys. Thanks for coming. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, I'm kind of in a in a not so good mood today, guys. I just uh, you know, got some things going on here, and and uh, hey, you know, it happens. Hey, what's up? Uh, hey, Metal James. Shop. What's happening, James? Thanks for stopping in, brother. Yeah, Andrew, we, we got we got power. We, we never lost water, but we we lost power a couple of times. But we we have power right now. Hey, if you guys ain't uh, subscribed to Bearded Metal Chef, there, go give them go give them a sub. Yeah. What What about you, Andrew? Do you, Do you have a uh, power? Yeah, I wonder if Andrew does. Yeah, Andrew's around here. Liam, Walt. What's up, guys? Walt. Thanks for stopping in. What's up? So. Yeah, Ron's got some things in the box, and uh, you know, I, I was wanting to do that Toa Satan challenge this 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 weekend, but I guess due to this weather, I haven't even got it yet because it's supposed to been delivered yesterday. But oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, you ain't getting no mail with this weather. I know we we haven't got mail since Saturday. Awesome, Bado. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Hey, Suasana, what's up, man? Welcome in, brother. Hey, hey, Susan. Hey, 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 Wolf. Where are you from, Wolf? Welcome in, Russ. Appreciate you. Hey, hey how you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. Uh, Marvin, how's it going? Hey, Marvin. There you are. I didn't see you for a second there. What's up, brother? Glad to have you. Talk to me nice. I'm yeah. listening as I try to fall asleep. No, okay. no, no, healthy's in here, not in here, so we don't have to worry about all that now. Get, get your beauty sleep uh, there, Billy. And wake up nice and refreshed. <laughs> Is that nice enough for you, man? <laughs> uh, L.I. back there. Hey, hey, Ricky, how you doing, hey. nephew? <laughs> yeah, Ricky, Ricky's, uh, Ricky and Neil are my nephews now. <laughs> yeah, because they call you Uncle Ron. <laughs> yes, sir. Bado, it's a mod. <laughs> he rules with an iron fist. That's funny, Walt. He does rule with an iron fist, doesn't he? Especially when it comes to, uh, especially when it comes to uh, healthy beard. <laughs> 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 he rules with a really uh, like a super iron fist with him. Fifty-two Look. hours last shift, three shifts, and at fifteen. 19 and 18 hour shift. I know, those are some long shifts. Yeah, that's rough, man. 15, 19, 18. Welcome in, Russ. Yep, thanks guys for coming in. Appreciate you. Hey, Steven. What's up, brother? Hi, Steven. How's it going? Yeah, I got these uh, I got these new shirts that I had washed and folded. And uh, I got them a while ago. And every once in a, I never wore them, but every once in a while I'll go, go, I'll go wash them with the intent to wear them. But uh, I just never did yet. So today I grabbed the one to put on. And I, I, you know, when you wear a shirt that you, you got like quite a while ago, you realize how fat you've gotten. <laughs> you know, you, you, you instantly realize how much weight you put on. Oh, yeah. And, Andrew. Andrew made a comment. If anybody's uh, seeing, having problems seeing the chat, you know, because you have to move to uh, from top chat to live chat sometimes to see everything. But I wouldn't yeah. think that that would affect when you don't have t you know too many people. You know, like on dance show, we have like hundreds of people on there. That would affect it. But I, I didn't think that would affect it on uh, you know, we don't have you know less than so many people on there. No, I think it affects it no matter what, no matter yeah. what. You know, because I always forget to 
when I first go into someone else's, I always forget to put it on that live chat. And yeah. it's like you know, 10 minutes in usually before I realize that I didn't and I'm not seeing like half the comments. I know that's just crazy. What, you know, it, 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 it should, it should uh, be the default to be on live chat. Then you, you, you put on top chat if you want to change it. Yeah, I agree. I absolutely agree with that. I don't know why, why it isn't. They always seem to do everything backwards, though. So. Yeah. So, any news on that uh, on that stimulus check, guys? If it's coming or not? Can anyone hear anything about it? I don't watch the news. That's why I ask. Because I have no clue at all. I have no idea. But I did do my taxes yesterday. Uh, did you? You getting some money back? Yeah. Hmm. Now that's really that is really weird, Andrew. He's not getting any comments on on either live or top. And that's where ex, ex, exit out and come back in and see if that helps. Yeah, that might help. Yeah, um, Marvin, I'm not ready for summer yet because I haven't even experienced winter yet here. <laughs> <laughs> I guess yeah. the front and back door open, both fans on in the apartment are going, and. Uh, it's hot. It's hot again here today. Well, I think so, Florida never really has much of a winter today. Yeah, it's 83 out. It's it is so exactly Liam. See, he knows what I'm saying, man. It, it's hot here today. Let me see. Yeah, let me see what it is right this now. This check should be out in late March, is what I heard. My God, I hope so, because I need a new phone. And I don't know if my phone is going to make it until March at this point. I really don't. It's well, won't, even, it won't even charge now. Here, here in Dallas, it's, it says it's 26 degrees, but feels like 15. It's what? 26, you said? Yes, 26, but feels like 15. Oh, okay. Very good. That's not, that's not good. Hey, what's happening, brother? Thanks for stopping in. Hello, James. Well, Ron, I have plenty of winter I can send you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I could use some, man. I'm so so tired of this heat in Florida. I love that winters when it's cool and nice. Not when it's like too cold either, but, but at this point we've had like very few cold days that I would actually enjoy a few, you know, nice cool days. I think we had one what one 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 little cold spell there where it was pretty cold out for a little while there and i actually had the heat on at night i think i've only put the heat on once this winter hmm. and that was only on like 72 just enough to kick it on to take the chill out of the apartment you know not enough to like leave it on and get warm in here but just enough to have it kick on every once in a while that, on auto just to take the chill out so all right, guys, I guess we can start with this one here. We got some, uh, yeah, there we go. Don't know if you can see that. Maybe, maybe if I move my finger, it would help. Can I get uh, it in the camera? JMO, yeah, Jolly Fat Man. Yeah, I got some blurry, blurry camera. <laughs> Jolly old fat man. How could you see that? I, I saw, couldn't I, see it on my own. It was so blurry. Well, I saw the little Santa Claus. Uh, stamp on there. Oh, okay. You cheated. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's the way to do it, Dagan. So, yeah, guys, I don't know if you know, but Saturday is my birthday. I'm going to be, am I going to be 51, I think? Am I going to be 51 or 52? Hell, I can't remember how old I am. <laughs> I stopped counting, to be honest, for a few years there. It just didn't even matter to me anymore. You know, and you're, you're keep to yourself. You know, and I told my brothers and sisters, let's not even do birthdays anymore. It's just a, just another day, you know. And uh, they kind of, I guess, agreed with me. So, but uh, yeah. Okay, we got the, what is that, 69? That would make me 70. 52, no, 52, right? Or 51. You're born, born, you're born in 69? 69, yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you, but I don't know about that. 52. 
52, yeah. Thought 52, yeah, because I think he turned 51 last year. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would have been happy if I was turning 52. God, I can't believe I'm going to be 52. Oh, my God. Where did all the years go? Well, I, I look at this. It's just just another day. You know, you, you're only old as you think you are. So if you think if you think you're young in your mind, then you're better. Well, I think I feel feel young, except for this damn RA. Like yeah. mentally, I feel young, but physically, I feel like I'm an old, falling apart rag. You well, know, I, I feel the same way some some days. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, that's because of the RA, not because of me. Woo! Look at this bad boy. Oh, that's big old big old sticker. So Marvin's going to be 59. Yeah. Russ 52. 52. No, he's no, saying. Yeah, he's saying the answer. Okay. How old are you, Russ? Oh, 53 in July. Okay. There we go. Is there a couple comments up? I got it. But Ron has such the luscious locks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my brother. Hey, that's hey, yeah, I'm sorry, Marvin. So sorry for your loss, brother. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was heartbroken when you told me. Yeah, speaking of that, that's what I, I kind of worry about that myself because my dad passed away at 54. His brother passed away around 61. And their, and their father passed away early 60s, too. So. And we got our wrapping paper. Nice Christmassy wrapping paper. And uh, what did I get again? Let's see here. Well, take, take, take the comment back down so we can see better. Huh? Take the comment back down so we can see better. Okay. Which comment was that? Well, you just pick any comment real quick and click off. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. We got some uh, dirty snow, guys. Dirty snow. Dirty snow. Had to get some of uh, Bam's uh, new butter. And a little late to the party, but better late than never, right? So, and I got it in the... Guilty conscience scent. And that's, uh, you can't see it. It's terrible. I can't see this at all. The print is so, print is so small. Two. Votto's going to be 36 on tax day. On tax day? Yeah, April 15th. Let me see if I can see what this is. Ugh. I don't know. I can't see it. Maybe you guys can. <laughs> No, this way. What about butter? Do you have guilty conscience, Dagan? Huh? Do you have guilty uh, conscience? No. I can't remember the scent. I think there's amber in it, though. I can go I look it up, right? though. Huh? Let me look it up. Let me uh, go find it real quick and look it up. These labels really look good, though. Look at that label. New, new, new label. Dirty snow. Sideways there. I got I got his barbershop one. Don't remember the name of it, but. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Very cool. And then you got the name of the scent on this side. And you got a big, big old fat window there. So you can see uh, how much you got left. My twin sister also turns 36 on that day. Isn't that strange? My twin sister also turns 52 on... Uh, Saturday as well, too. So, did you find it? Oh, I can get this open, maybe. I found, he's changed his west side up. I... Yeah, it's n nice, ain't it? You really hooked that thing up. Nice, man. I like the new uh, the new website. Yeah, Bam's got some, had some big changes, man. And, and he's killing it, man. Everybody's, I've heard nothing but fantastic things about this butter. And as well as uh, those that didn't care for the BTMS that have gotten his uh, non-BTMS blend are all loving that too. So, because, uh, you know, I mean, Daniel the Bearded Apprentice, we know he didn't care for the BTMS too much. Yeah. Didn't work well for him. Well, but he's loving, he's loving the new non-BTMS non formula. So Yeah, the BTMS didn't work for me either. Okay, the scent profile for Guilty Conscience is Birchwood... Oud and champagne. Yeah, my kind of scent. No, this one wasn't amber. Okay, it was baby Jesus, I think, that had amber in it. I was looking at that one too. But yeah, it comes uh, sealed. 
Put a seal on there. Yeah, Vato, that, that is strange that your twin sister turns the same age the same day. That, that's pretty crazy. Isn't that really weird? I know. So, I know, man. I don't know how. My sister somehow does, too. Because <laughs> I have a twin sister, too, and somehow she turns uh, 52 on the same day, too. Isn't that really weird? Not just one person, but two of us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that smells nice. Look at that butter, guys. Yeah. What was in there? What kind of butters were these? Did he list them all or some of them? Mm. Hemp seed, oil. Um, all right, here you go. I got it. Here, here it is. Mango. Huh? Mango, it's mango butter, yeah. hemp, hemp seed oil, hydrogenated soybean oil, avocado oil, cottonseed oil, ole europea, fruit oil, uh, cucumber butter, cop. I can't pronounce this one. Cop, copacoo butter. Copacoo butter or and, something like that. <laughs> and ukuba butter, baba mm -hmm. oil, and fragrance. Howdy, Irish Whisker. What's up, Kyle? How you doing, brother? Thanks for stopping in, man. Hey, he yeah. Hey, hey, some, uh, some uh, jolly old fat man butter and the uh, guilty conscience scent. Which is uh, birchwood, oud, and champagne, Diggin, Diggin said. I said, say, you will have to just take care of yourself. Yep. You got to take care of yourself if you can. It's a very unique blend. Yeah, it is, Suasana, isn't it? It's, uh, I think, uh, you know, there was a at least one butter in here that Bam was using, that he said he was using that, uh, or said he was going to get. He didn't tell it, say the name of it at the time, but he said he don't see too many people using it. So I don't know if he actually put that in there, but from the sound of some of these names, I think he did. <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard any, uh, a lot of those yet. I heard of the uh, uh, Kokum butter, I think. I believe Bearded Mac has that in his butters, in his poured butters. But uh, the one, uh, uh, yeah, the Kua Kua butter too, I've heard of. I think uh, actually Beard of Mac has that in his too, but the other one I didn't hear. The one I hear of, the one you said. Yeah. This is a really nice scent, guys. Wow. The champagne makes it, it's not like, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's like the oud and the champagne, they mix together, and you can kind of smell a little bit of a champagne smell there, but it's not like, uh, jumping up at you and slapping you around, you know? It's kind of just making the oud a little sweet. I like it. Very nice. Let's see some of this here. Yeah, this is that, uh, it's creamy, but it feels very dense. Feels very, very dense. Yeah, it is, it is dense. It feels like a very, very dense butter. But look at that. It just uh, smooshes away into nothingness. Turns all clear and see through -y. <laughs> I like it. It smells really nice. Woo! Put some on my knees. You know, I've been using the uh, the new uh, Artius Man Restoration Butter, and I've never used the Artius Man Butter before. And that stuff is pretty darn good, to be honest. I'm liking it. I don't know if any of you guys ever used it before, but yeah, I I liked it too. I've used it before, but I I did a review back in the summertime, and um, I liked it, except for when it's really hot and I had to work. You know, my truck days went really hot. I remember hot. that. I remember you saying that. Yeah, when we were at work and it was hot, it was not leaving your beard as soft or something. Well, it, it felt like it's it like it's like coming back out of my beard. You know, kind of melting back out maybe we're using too much mm. no but otherwise I the first but two nights i think the first two times i use it i think i did put too much in it because i'm i think a lot a little goes a long way with that butter and i put as much as i'm used to putting in you know what i mean yeah and it took like a little while for it to really i guess like absorb in but uh once it did 
oh my God, my beard felt incredible. It felt soft and uh, gave it a little bit of style too. You know, a little bit of hold, but not that overly hold, just a little hold. That, you know, it kind of stays where you brush it and comb it. So, yeah, I like it. It's a, it feels a little bit almost tacky, though, when you go to put it in, when you put it in your hands and you're breaking it down. It has like almost like a little bit of a tacky feel to it. But once you get it all broke down and liquid, you know, no issues with it going in or nothing for me anyway. Yeah, it, it, well, it doesn't feel tacky going in. It doesn't like grab the hairs. You know how like some of them butters they, they get they're real tacky, and you go to put them in, and they pull out ten hairs on each side with it when you're rubbing it down like that in your beard. This one didn't do that at all, but yeah. I thought it might because it felt kind of tacky to me. Yeah, our uh, yeah, his, his oil and butter are pretty good, except for uh, you know his he does have thick oils, so. Except for the Dan C collab. The Dan C collab is, you know, a little thinner blend. Yes, the, the Dan C collab is thinner. Yeah, it's a metal foam seed uh, blend. Uh, I have it in the bathroom. I forgot what the whole blend is exactly, but that one's really nice, too. But you know what? I like the Aureus Man Oil. Hey, what's yeah. up, Timmy? How's it going, brother? Yeah. Hello, Timothy. Yeah, that's my good friend, Timmy. He's uh, We've been friends since we're... Oh, God since we were 12 or 13, something like that. We oh, met, wow. uh, met in like seventh grade or sixth grade, seventh grade, I think. So, yeah, we've been friends for a long time, man. He's a good guy. He's a damn good friend to me. I'm a very lucky, I'm a lucky guy to have a friend like him. Yeah, that's pretty cool to have a friend that long. I, I, I got a friend, too, that I've known since like fifth grade. So, yeah. I can... Yeah, Timmy's the kind of kind of friend that everybody wishes they had, you know, loyal, loyal to a fault and do anything. If you need any, you know, anytime you need any help with anything, he's right there for you. You know, I try to be the same kind of friend to him. I hope I've, uh, I hope I've been, you know, but, uh, yeah, he's just a great friend, man. He's like a brother to me. Got a lot of love for that man. All right. What, what's everybody having beer today? I, I, I have some it's Copper Johns. What are you having? Copper Johns, Summer Citrus. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I have some friends like that. Nice, Russ. I really began to start growing my beard because of you guys. Ronnie is the best. We love watching these podcasts. Thank you, Timmy. I appreciate that, brother. Love you too, man. Ron is a one of a kind. Thanks for the words. You got it, brother. You're growing your beard out. You didn't even tell me you were. <laughs> Jesus, that's awesome, though. You got to you gotta send me a picture, man. Let me see it. It's cool having a beard. You're going to grow it long or just a uh, business beard? Thank you, Bato. Thanks, guys, for uh, the warm welcome for Timmy. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right, people are starting to put in what they have in beard. Um, okay. Ours got cash, Black Rebel. Nick, wait, Rob's got uh, what? Nicholas uh, Beard's work there? Yeah. Uh, uh, Irish has Black uh, has cash from Black Rebel. Walt has Phoenix from Chesapeake. Nice. Rob, Nicholas Beard works, yep. Russ, Beard Octane. Ken, Lux. Oh, uh, how do you like that, Ken? Never tried that one. Yeah, I'm Bearded Dragon, uh, Marvin, Copper John's, Homecoming. Nice. Hey, Gary, how's it going? Uh, later, Wolf. Glad you could come by. Yeah, but it bet it's super thick, Tim, because you got that, uh, you know, you always had that, because uh, you never wore a beard. I think you had a mustache for a while, I remember, but uh, maybe a goatee, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I can't remember if you did or did the goatee or not. I think you did for a little while. But you always uh, were clean shaven usually for work. So when I used to see your five o'clock shadow, though, holy mackerel, man, you looked like you could grow one hell of a beard. <laughs> that thick, coarse, uh, coarse hair, you know. Hello, Daniel. Uh, uh, Marvin. I okay, see you, see you later, brother. Yeah, Marvin uh, cut two inches off his beard. 
I'm not sure if he'd like the Marvin cut two inches off. Oh, okay. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Wanted a little reset there or just a transparency uh, clean it clean up there. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Gar? What's going on, brother? Gary. Oh, I left this comment up still. I know. You like to leave the comments up. <laughs> <laughs> Just I forget about it sometimes, man. Mm -hmm. That's all. So, uh, yeah, that was the jolly old fat man. Butter. I had to try it. I've heard nothing but great things about it. So I grabbed one of them. And next year we got some Bell's Custom Woodworking. I want a... Uh, I want on uh, Instagram a uh, organizer thing holder for the uh, oil, 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 uh, oil and butter or bomb, whichever you use. I guess either or. All right, uh, later, Irish. Thanks for coming. All right, later, man, Kyle. Thanks for stopping in, brother. Only went really heavy on some new renewed man dreamscape bomb to cover me while I go shovel snow. <laughs> I don't watch it after I'm done. Nice. Yeah, that will probably work too. Mm, so, uh, yeah, I was so excited when I won this. I couldn't believe I actually won this thing. That was so awesome, man, of Matthew. Yeah, if you guys ain't uh, following Bell's wood, Woodworking on IG, give, give him a follow. Matthew, his name is Matthew. He's really, really nice guy. I talked to him a little bit and uh, on IG, DM, DM, DMing each other, and really nice guy. He's got a little mini me, his daughter. Very nice. Oh God, I don't know if I can get this open without cutting myself. <laughs> All right. Hey, what's up, Tyson? Thanks for stopping hey. in, brother. Hey, hey, Tyson. All is well here now that I have power. So, <laughs> yeah, for real. How's the move going, Tyson? Oh yeah, he's moving. Are you are you packed up yet? Are you still packing? Uh, what what stage are you at, brother? I forgot to ask you. All right, I'm gonna do this the hard way, apparently. <laughs> Can't get this over here. I know I can't I can't wait to see what you got. Yeah, look at that. I like to show you guys in the box if I can. Can you see it? Yeah. A butter and oil holder or a bomb yeah, holder. The organizer, yeah. I think he calls them an organizer. Oh, look at how nice that is. Oh my god. Look at that craftsmanship. Wow. Hey. Yeah, Votto, they, they said they stopped doing the, the rolling blackouts here, so. Look hopefully. at this thing, guys. Sorry, Dagan. I just had to show you guys. Oh, look yeah. at this. Yeah. Look That's at the awesome. craftsmanship on that. That's awesome. Isn't that beautiful? Look at you can put these little clear tabs on it on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. So Little plugs in there, there, there. You know, like a different uh, with a side, different like color. It. Yeah, it gives a little uh, character to it. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Look at that, man. Wow. Put your butter in there. Now, this one's a little uh, small because it's a two ounce. I guess it's made to fit a four ounce too, but you know, it fits in there fine too. But you can fit probably a four. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that two-tone wood. It's beautiful. Oh mm -hmm. my God. I forgot what you said this was. I think, what, cherry and walnut maybe? Right? I think it was cherry and walnut. Really amazing. I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, look at that, guys! Oh my God, I got a comb too. This uh, wasn't on the giveaway; it was only the organizer. He sent me a comb too. How nice was that, Matt? Thank you, Matt. I know. Awesome, Matthew. 
I like how it's two toned. You know. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? It's uh, I believe it's uh ch cherry wood too. Cherry wood, quarter sawn, quarter sawn figured cherry. Because I've seen some posts and stuff that he put picture pictures he puts up, and he says sometimes whether they're walnut, but uh, he uses hardwoods for these hardwoods. Oh yeah, you definitely want harder wood for a comb, so it won't yes. you know, soak in the oils and stuff. Yeah, I seen like he uh, makes uh, one-offs too. He makes uh, you know, because he posted a bunch of new stuff he just made. He made a just made a nice one-off comb. He said if you buy that one, no nobody will have one like it. So he does one-offs. If you want a one-off original comb that only you'll you'll have, then uh, you know, just hit up Matthew. Over at Bell's Custom Woodworking, and he'll hook you up, man, with something really beautiful. And his prices are uh, pretty fair, so. Oh, let me answer uh, uh, Timothy's question here. He asked me how long I've been growing my beard. Mm -hmm. Well, I've, I've had some sort of a beard for at least 15 years, but usually it was more of a shorter business type beard. And I guess a, more than a year ago, I, I let it grow out, you know, I let it grow out a little bit longer, but then, then come November, I just, just, I stopped trimming at all. So pretty much for the past year and three, four months, I've just let it grow. But I, I did, within those past year though, I did trim it back a couple of inches. All right, I didn't even see the, sorry, Tyson. I didn't even see your comment here. Stage of, wait, what is, did I miss the first part of this? No, you, you asked them uh, how this, How's yes. this uh, movie going? That's, that's his response. Stage of everything is in the garage, frozen still. Okay. Trying to just keep warm and more focused on getting the old house ready to close. Oh, you're closing already. Do you have a new home already? Did you buy a house yet? Or are you still looking? And uh, welcome in, Ryan. Yes. Howdy, um, Ryan. Thanks for coming in, brother. Hey, Tim, uh, I'm gonna, if I can do a shameless plug here, uh, uh, Tim, Timothy, I, I have a YouTube channel also called BGG Beard Reviews. You want to check it out? You know. That was a shameless plug. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I think he might already be subscribed though, because they tell him all the time I'm on other channels. So, uh, you know, but uh, yeah, it, Dagan's like, uh, and I are like, you know, partners in crime here. You know, like I, I go, I do, I co-host his show on Sundays on his channel and we do unboxings on both our channels and hopefully I'll be starting a show soon. So but we, we, I don't know if it's going to be weekly, bi-weekly yet, uh, something, 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 uh, something soon though, hopefully. But look at, look at this guys, look at this comb, look at the thickness of this thing. I know. Do you see how thick that is? This thing is quality real quality made i mean wow uh, yeah. thanks walt and he uh he cuts these out on the machines but he uh he hand sands all of these down when he's uh done with them you know cut, done cutting them out and everything he hand sands them he says because you know i dm'd him a little bit and we were talking a little bit about some of the stuff and uh I think it's absolutely amazing. Really nice. Oh my God! Look at that. Oh. Well, thanks, Marv, for stopping in. I hope uh, doesn't cost you too much to fix that bursted pipe. This feels like butter going through my beard, man. Like, like, not butter, but you know, my beard feels like it's butter, and this is like a hot knife going through it. You know, <laughs> it's like no snags, just smooth right through. Look at that. This thing is gorgeous. Wow. I just still can't get over how thick that is. Look how thick that is. That thing is huge. I know. Really beautiful work, Matthew. Thank you so much, Matthew. These are absolutely gorgeous. And I guess the comb goes in the slot, no? To hold it here? Look at that. Yeah, probably. With your, you know, with your... Uh, Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> With your holder there, the comb matches there and it goes in there. Very nice. Absolutely beautiful. 
who wouldn't who wouldn't love one of these sitting on their sink? Seriously. That's that's an opportunity to do a review on that now. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, I'm going to. So. Yeah, yeah, the, the, they were talking about the cones from uh, Copper John the Frosty, yeah, the uh, the uh, Chicago cones. Yes, the Chicago cones. Yeah, I still got this this awesome one here that Gary sent me with his awesome logo on it. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I, lo I love that cone. I love my number eight too. That that one in the pick. Yeah, I have the uh, pick too. I have this number seven. A pick in uh, Copper John's. Yeah, Chicago cones are pretty awesome. But this thing is really nice too, guys. This is amazing. Oh man, I can't believe how thick that is. That is just so thick. Look at that thing. That is one heck of a cone. Definitely less chance of it breaking. <laughs> and you know the way these are angled, like this going up. You know, they're like they start out a little wired, wider. I think it really uh, helps to make it not snag nowhere because it doesn't snag at all. It's just like uh, smooth butter going through there, you know, like going through butter. Yeah, this would probably work well on your beard too, dude. Yeah, I, I got one coming. Yeah. Lucky you. Lucky me, though. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect this at all because I know I won this, and there was a picture of this you right. know, on, the, on the giveaway thing, but it didn't have a comb with it. So that was really nice of Matthew to send me the comb, right. too. Really right. awesome. A really, really beautiful. A really nice surprise there. Absolutely. Totally. Look at that. He's going to have it has a little hole there so you can put uh, – you know, like your uh, trimming scissors in there. You got your little uh, mustache and split end, and not split end. Yeah, well, split ends too, I guess. But, you know, your little flyaways you want to trim and your mustache, you know, you stick them right in that hole there. That's really, really super nice. I love this. Yeah, Timmy had, Timothy had a question about the numbers. Um, I know kind of what, what kind of little comment to explain it, but. Let me go. I got the uh, my original packaging because I bought the whole lot of them. So let me go get that, and I can actually visually visually show you. Just one minute. Wait, what is it? What did you ask? Can you guys describe the meaning behind the comb numbers? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not really sure the meaning behind the comb numbers. I guess they. I, I don't know. I never looked it up. I just know that this is a number eight, number eight, and the pick is a number seven, and. Might be because of the tines or something, how many teeth they have and spaces, spaces of how far apart they are or something. It could have something to do with that. Who knows? Maybe Dagan knows. Do you know why they're, they're not numbered the way they are? Yeah, you have the uh, whole schmeal, don't you? Yeah, I bought the because they had a pack of them. So like this one's the number two. Well, maybe it's the size because the number oh, eight is well. eight. Five. It's not necessarily the size because the number two is smaller than the, than the number one. Hmm. But this this one is actually great for like a Reese short 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 beard or for the, for my mustache. It work good for yeah. my mustache. Yeah, I can see that. And this one is the number one. I'm mean, sorry. Yeah, number one. It's it's a, it's a pretty good size. You know, it's pretty good for a pocket comb and for shorter beards. And then you go to number six, which looks more like a normal comb. It has a little wider ends and the. Uh, hmm. So, this is really great for my uh, just combing my beard. Yeah, I need to get a number one and two. Ryan says. And of course, the seven is the pick, which is great for bigger beards to get that volume. Because pick pick is good for getting volume. And of course, that's what Ron just showed earlier. The number eight. So. But definitely that number two is 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 not really no no use for me for my beard. Just it works great for my mustache, but 
yeah, you tell you tell them you tell them Vato. <laughs> <I'll say Vato. laughs> How many times you want to change your profile there, picture? <laughs> Who no, Vato? I know he's always saying his pro profile. Picture. Yeah, that one's cool though. I like that. Yeah. It's like a little puzzle. I know that looks, looks pretty cool. It is cool. Welcome, Timothy. So, how long is the uh, the old beard there, Tim? And when did you actually start start growing it out? Has it been like a, you know a month or two, or uh, you know I don't know when you started. When you decided this was it back when I was on beard therapy, you started just started growing it. <laughs> Lotto. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has all kinds of different uh, different uh, size combs too. He has like uh, ones with handles, one without. He has a smaller one than this one. He has a uh, like a. A little bit shorter than this one, but they're longer with a handle. Then he has ones that are like this size with a handle. I mean, it's a really nice selection too. So he has something for everyone's needs. Yeah, he, he's the one that does the skateboard cone for Bearded, Bearded Coast. Yeah, and even these, man, even uh, these organizers, they he can he can custom make one if you want one that will hold twenty butters and thirty oils. He can make it. He just got done making some that are, I believe. They hold eight, six, to, six or eight butters and maybe 12, 14 oils or something like that. Really nice. Really, really nice. I wish I could afford one of those. But those are pretty big and they're, not, you know, they're pretty expensive. A lot of work goes into making them. Oh, yeah. Trust me. I, I know. I, I work in wood too, but that isn't, that isn't time consuming stuff there. But yeah, he uses all really, uh, he uses exotic woods too, and he uses all hardwoods, really nice stuff. He doesn't uh, get junk, you know, he gets really nice woods. Yeah, the uh, thing he sent me, he said, he said one of those pieces of wood is so hard that he had to use a metal blade to cut it. That's how hard the wood is. So he, he does he, he does use pretty hard woods for his stuff. Okay. Well, I hope everything's all right, dude. I call, called you what, last week on the uh, house phone, but you didn't pick up. But I called from my house phone, so I don't know. Maybe you didn't even recognize my house number, so because my phone's giving me a lot of trouble. So. Yeah, well, there's an okay there, Timothy. Yeah, for sure. So, oh, yeah, no. he makes uh, too. Matthew makes these big, uh, beautiful cut cutting boards too. Oh my God, they're gorgeous, guys! And he just started making these uh, trays too. Like I guess like a, it would be like a breakfast tray. Maybe you put on this stuff and bring it to your wife, or she brings you breakfast in bed. You know, on one of those trays. Really nice wooden trays. Gorgeous. The cutting boards are absolutely gorgeous. And the one I seen, I couldn't believe that it was, uh, you know, the price it was. It was like very reasonable. I thought the price was going to be a lot higher than, than you know, what it was. So uh, worth every penny, I'm sure. If I had a need for a cutting board, I'd definitely buy one because they're gorgeous. Yeah, I was in for a while, so okay. Jenka scale. Yeah, so if you ever want to know how hard a wood is, I guess he's a the Jenka scale. Like, mm. yeah, I didn't know there was all kinds of different. Uh, like they have, like this is a quarter sawn figured cherry, you know, and uh, there's quarter sawn like oak and walnut. There's all kinds of stuff, but then there's a modern modern cut quarter sawn cut. There's a, a traditional quarter sawn cut. And it has to do with how they actually, you know, cut the uh, the trunk like it, they cut it like in this, in the, you know, a plus sign from looking down on the top of it. And then each quarter section they take and they cut them in different ways, depending like, you know, for the traditional, they kind of 
cut the plank on this side, then flip it on, cut it on, cut one on that side, flip it, cut one on that side. You know, there's so many different diagrams of how they lay it out. And, yeah. and, you know, with the rings and, oh, my God, I didn't realize there was so much going on with it. <laughs> Timothy got a question for you. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's always busting my chops about my hair. Some things never change. <laughs> but uh, I think the hair. I think the hair suits you, Ron. Yeah, I know. I like it. I always like. I've always liked my hair longer. I do cut it off once in a while and donate it, but I wanted to grow it back again. But too, you know, when I wear my hair short, you have to keep going and getting haircuts and maintain it. And I can't afford haircuts every month or every six weeks or every four weeks or whatever it would be, to, depending on what, what style I would wear it. You know, yeah. it gets expensive. Haircuts aren't cheap now. I know. I, I used to cut my own hair. Oh, yeah. Timothy wants to know how do we decide what products to discuss during our little uh, lives here. Well, well kind of like this one, it's, it's just unboxing. So we're just talking about what the products we got in the mail at that yes. time. Yeah, I got some uh, jelly old fat man butter. This is uh, bir birchwood oud and champagne scent. Very nice too. Can't wait to try this in, in beard, man. I've heard nothing but fantastic things about this butter. Have you used it? You've used it, Dagan, right? Yeah, I, I used it for a couple of days, but I need, to, I need to give it actual full testing. Yeah, but well, what do you think of it so far? It was it was better than the uh, the uh, BTMS one. Well, he has the uh, hybrid, which is uh, yeah, that that hybrid. Yeah, better know, than the hybrid. Butter, butter bomb with BTMS. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <The bottom's> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but even when I had short hair, man, they don't say hi to you then either. So that's that's no neither here nor there, Bato. Because well, I've had short hair, you know. When I was younger, I had my hair short for for many years, man. And uh, you know, people were uh, not so friendly then either. And I've had my hair short a few times uh, out here in Florida. I've cut it off and donated it. So. Oh well, yeah, uh, Timothy. I've I've mentioned a few times when when somebody brings up a company, I've mentioned myself that you know it didn't work well for me. Plus, you know, in my reviews, when I do my reviews, if I don't like it, I'll tell it my review too. Yeah, I don't know. That's a trick question, though, kind of, because it's not like usually I don't think I've come across the product that I really don't like. You know what I mean? Like I've come across ones that don't work well in my beard, but that doesn't mean it's not a good product. You know, yeah. and if they maybe took out this or put that in in instead that, it, you know, it probably would work for me and then I would use it. <laughs> but uh well, yeah, because just because just because something doesn't work for us doesn't mean it's not going to work for somebody else. Otherwise, yeah. I mean, otherwise they wouldn't still be in business because obviously it's working for somebody because they're still buying it. Yeah, I honestly don't think I've come across something that I don't like yet, though. But you know, I only tried a few products that were not from the community, so you know, I like Honest Amish have tried and uh, Live Bearded Beard Brand. You know, I would say they're not really active in our community like these other guys are. I mean, they may come on streams once in a while and stuff, but uh, it's usually very rare. They don't post on IG a lot if they do. Yeah, like what? Like what? The Mountaineer brand is a good product, but does not work well for him. Yes. Yeah. 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 You got to try different products and see what works for you. I know a lot of the products that are just really good, really good because, you know, we're, we have such close, we're so spoiled. We have such a close interaction with these owners that, you know, we can make suggestions on stuff and they, they take it to heart and sometimes they do act on it. So, I, you know, I feel really spoiled in that aspect. You know, you get, we get to use these fantastic products and they just keep seeming to make them better and better. 
Yeah, because, you know, as a company, you should be constantly trying to improve yourself. Yeah, I don't know. Timmy has like a, well, it's probably white and gray too now, but his hair was always uh, black. So I don't know. I think it's, I don't know what color his beard has turned now. I don't know if it's all white or if it's white and gray or mix. Well, it seems like I noticed a lot of times the beard start turning gray before your head hair does. Yeah, this is, this is a rabbit hole for sure, Timmy. His community, big rabbit hole. <laughs> you just come across it, and next thing you know, you, you just you're watching it constantly. You're you're involved in it. Then you get on IG, and then you see people doing these unboxings. And next thing you know, you want to do do unboxings, and then you want to start your own channel too, because it's such an amazing community. You just want to be a part of trying to make it better. Yeah. Hey Brian. Hey Brian, welcome in. Hey guys, I agree on some amazing products over the past year. We are reaping the benefits. Well said, Brian. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, a lot of new companies came out this past year, which is, it's, to me, it seems like uh, got kind of get the other companies to step up their game too. Yeah, yeah, and you know what? These owners impressed the heck out of me because they, you know, they'll, they'll have excellent products, and they're still trying to improve them. And they managed to do it somehow, you know, by, you know, changing the blend up a little or adding this and taking out that. And, and you know, they, they started with an already great product and then they make it even greater. It's amazing to me. Yep. That's for sure. Has anyone grabbed any of that uh, new butter from uh, Copper John's? The Nightfall butter? No, but I did. I did pre-order his uh, the candle. Candle, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know. I can't. Can't. I've stopped myself from buying like four or five things now. After I bought, after I bought this, and I did, tried to stop myself from buying this too, but I said, <laughs> you know what? I, I told Bam I would get it, and uh, you know, I need to get it because I said I would. You know, and it's already been a while, so. I just said, let me grab it. Yeah, and uh, Brian just put out there, you try Pete's new blend from Damn Yankee, and that's that's for like uh, for like great gray beards and and, and coarse and dry beards, if, if that's correct, Brian. And uh, put put the name of it in the chat too, there, Brian. Yes, I need to try that too, and maybe next next month. <laughs> I can't can't buy anything else this month. I'm just tapped. I spent way too much money. I don't know. Let me tell you. Hmm. Yeah, they just made it that, Walt, because uh, they're, I know they're uh, rebranding, yes. I know he sent out some uh, test, uh, test stuff, too. I'm excited to see uh, what Corey's going to do and what, what he comes up with. Because I, I know he's been talking about this rebrand for quite a while now. It was supposed to happen, I believe, last summer, no? Or the yeah. last year even, maybe? Not but he just long. never got got to it because of whatever reasons. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Hey, Cruz. Hey, can, you, can you put up Brian's comment there? Yep. That, so that new blend from uh, Damn Yankee is called Sterling Blend. Use banjo fifteen to save fifteen percent. Yep. Absolutely. Hey guys, yeah, if you're not subscribed to Beards and Banjos here, Brian, go subscribe to him. He's got fantastic content, really good content. Yeah, no. Uh, Tyson says Captain Stash New Blend is epic. In absolutely, I, 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 yeah, I bet it is too. Because I, I, I like this old blend. His old blends are really good in my beer, so I can only imagine this new blend is to be that much better. But I just have not uh, pulled the trigger on that yet. No, I agree. I have it, and it's fantastic. It really is.
Hey Brian, I guess I guess that sterling blend comes in in obviously oil, but uh, butter as well. Absolutely, Brian. Absolutely. Hey Jay Cruz, what's up, brother? How's it going? Well, welcome in. Yeah, I don't know for those that didn't see I, from Bell's woodworking shop, I got an organizer and I won on uh, I won on Instagram for an oil and oil butter and uh, I'm sorry <laughs> oil and a butter and a little hole for scissors too if I can get this thing straight here and a comb or comb here and I won this but he also sent me this awesome comb too how thick that is. I can't get over how thick this thing is. is it is awesome. super thick. Quality made. I know. It, well, it looks like good quality. Can't, I can't wait to get mine. Yeah, it's really gorgeous, man. Yeah, and he get, he makes these in all different sizes. and You know, from anywhere from one to hold one butter bomb and oil and comb to... to to sky's the limit, I I would think anything you want. Yeah, I'm sure, you know, if you messaged him, you DM'd him, he could, uh, you know, talk it over with you and make whatever you want. So, yeah, I bet he could. How come? How come I don't get my get what? Well. Because I hadn't got to. He, he just sent mine out yesterday or the day before. So I won't get mine for a little bit longer. Well, I won mine on. Uh, I won mine in a giveaway. So wow. it was, yeah, a little while ago already. So I guess after, uh, you know, that he decided to send some out to other guys, too. I don't know really how, how that happened, though. Yeah, I don't what, know. Did Matthew, hit, did Matthew hit you up and just tell you he was going to send you that out or what? Yeah, he, he hit me up. So Yeah, he's a nice guy. He really is. I enjoy talking to him. He's got a, he's got a lot of passion for this. Yeah, I can and tell he, that. He doesn't believe in uh, staining the wood, you know, like whatever it is naturally, if it's cherry or Walnut, you know, whatever it's naturally is, he he want, you know, he, he believes in leaving it natural, and I I like kind of agree. I think the wood is absolutely gorgeous. Why why stain it or cover it up or you know uh, paint it even or whatever you would would do to it, you know? Yeah, it's naturally gorgeous. Just leave it the way it is. I know some people may not agree with that, and that's okay too if your taste is uh, different. But you know, I, I love the way the wood looks naturally. I do, so I, I tend to agree with them <laughs> on that. <laughs> I hate wood stain. See, you know, if it's for a kitchen table or something, and it's just pine or something, you know, eh, that's different. You know, I, I don't mind a little stain on that to match. You know. To match or something, but uh, stuff like this that you're hand making, even handmade furniture, that I wouldn't stain. You know, store bought, yeah, you know, they don't use the greatest of wood sometimes. You know, at least not for me what I can for afford anyway. So it probably needs to be stained. <laughs> Tooth. Well, I don't know about that, Walt. I I go higher than that. Super smooth. No, uh, T Timothy, I I'm I'm from uh, Dallas, Texas. Yeah, no, the guys in, in the community are from all over the country. Yeah, some not even in in the country, <laughs> and some are uh, from the from from here, but they're in other countries, either with the military or their jobs or or both. <laughs> yeah, Dagan's in Texas. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Walt. I appreciate that. Yeah, Walt's in Florida. There are a few guys that are in Florida too, though. 
Uh, yeah. So healthy. everybody in the chat, put 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 what state you're from. Yeah, Timmy, Healthy Beards from uh, New Jersey. Jay Cruz. I forgot yeah. what exactly he said. I think he said it was uh oh uh where Michelle lives over there, Edison. Edison, right, Healthy? I believe you said you were from Edison. You're in Edison, no? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's yeah. like a hop, skip, and jump from where we used to live, Tim. Yeah, Timothy, uh, Dallas, actually pretty much all of Texas almost had has snow and ice over the past few days. Yeah, man. Digging had no uh, water or uh, or uh, held power for a few days there, too. I know. <laughs> Cranford. Cranford what? Let's see. Oops, I think I permanently blocked Jay oh. Cruz. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Vato. You can't permanently block other reviewers. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you can you can that. you can time out you can time time out him if he deserves it, but you can't permanently block him. <laughs> so we already got icicles forming on the our house. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people uh, posting videos doing donuts and stuff in the snow. I know. <laughs> Lots of fun. Great. Here's some, here's some. Oh, no, I know, I know what though. I'm just busting your chops, brother. There's some icicles forming on my house, even my house. Mm. Very nice. Isn't that weird? It's, it's melting hot in Florida in the winter and it's snowing and icing in Texas. What the hell is going on? Jesus. It's the rapture. Everything's going crazy. Yeah, I know. Well, now I guess healthy left because he he's not coming in. So. Yeah, I believe he said he was in Edison, because I remember saying when he said that I said, "Oh, I have a friend Michelle who's from Edison." My brother actually lived in Edison for a little while too. Actually, that's how I met Michelle. <laughs> no, I wasn't sure if you meant Cranford or Edison for Jacobs. Yeah, Edison. Yep. All right. Here we go. Uh, take the comment down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's all right. Ain't going to hurt nobody. Oh, shoot. Uh, last time we had weather like this, Timothy, was, um, I don't know, I want to say like eight years ago at least, long or eight, ten years ago. Shoot, I, I can't remember. Something like that. Oh, boy. It is warm in here. It's, it seems to be getting hotter as the as the uh, time goes by here. Ooh. And it doesn't look like it's any sunnier out there. But yeah, it's it's like, uh, what, do you, what did uh, William say? 80 something? 84? 85? I well, think plus, he said. Well, plus you have a lot of humidity there too, so, right? Yeah, it's terrible. I feel like I'm swimming over here in a, in a cloud or something. It's so humid. Goodness. I hear you. Yeah, so I, I'm probably going to go back to work starting tomorrow. So. Okay. Is the roads going to be okay to drive by tomorrow? You said they were still pretty bad today. They are, but I, I've I've actually went out and drove on them. They're not to me. They're not that bad, but because I I know how to drive on the roads like this. Even though we don't get that much ice here, I know how to drive on it. Yeah. I, I put I put like three 80 pound bags of concrete in the back of my truck, so that, that helps with the, you know, getting a little weight. Yeah, that helps for sure. Look at the size of that big sticker. I love it. All right, all right. Timothy is going. Thank, thanks, Timothy, coming in. See you later. Okay, Tim. Thanks, brother. You gonna still watch? Yeah, call, call me later, brother. Call me on the house phone. So yeah, 
don't forget, guys, if you're on IG, to uh, follow Bell's. Matthew's a great guy. He's got some really, really nice stuff. I love 84 here. Yeah, I'm sure. Everyone seems to say that. Like, if it's winter where they're at, they want it hot. If it's the middle of summer and they're sweltering, then they, they want winter. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Later, Tim. Well, let me tell you, when it comes to power outages, I'd rather have my power out in the summer versus the winter. This smells really nice. Wow. I love how Bam's not afraid to, uh, you know, go places others won't. <laughs> it makes sense. Well, yeah, well, the same kind of beard, man. They got some uh, interesting scents too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, them guys. I, I got three scents from them already, and they're they're all fantastic. I want all summer. I'm moving to Florida or Southern Texas. There you go, brother. Florida's nice, but if you can't take humidity or don't like humidity, then, yeah, I don't know. It's not too good then. Oh, it's the same down in southern Texas, too. You got closer to the uh, Gulf Coast down there. But they, they, they can get pretty, pretty big storms down there, too, sometimes. Yeah, I'd like to move somewhere there's no humidity or very little, even. Arizona. Yeah. I got Arizona. Hot. No humidity. But not too hot either. I can't be somewhere where it's too, you know, blazing hot like like here either. It's terrible. The heat is just so bad sometimes. You don't even want to go out in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I know here in, in Dallas, it can get pretty humid too during the summer. Yeah. Well, I know when I was in San Antonio, it was gorgeous there. No humidity at all. Middle of summer, I was in a suit. It was 100 degrees out and wasn't sweating and not even a drop of sweat. I couldn't believe it. It was like July or August. I'm like, I can't believe this. 100 degrees and I'm not sweating out here. It blew me away. Because normally when it's 100, you know, if I'm in a, you know, even in a T-shirt, I'm soaking wet with sweat. So to be in a suit and not sweat, that was pretty impressive to me. That's crazy. Yeah. When it gets to degrees like that, it doesn't matter what the humidity is like. I, I step outside, I'm going to start sweating. But there was a nice breeze too that day. The sun was out, but it was a really nice breeze. Yeah. Br breeze do help. <laughs> hmm? The breeze sure does help. All right. Yeah. But even standing in the sun taking wedding pictures, man, I wasn't wasn't sweating at all. It was fantastic. I wish that was like like that here. Right. All right. Yeah, so uh oh this this coming Sunday is my husband's birthday. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I think I remember telling me that. This is what, the twenty first? Yep. Yeah, and mine's the twentieth. So, look at that. He wants to go uh, this uh, one place uh, to have brunch that day, so we'll probably do that. Very good. Are you gonna have your stream Sunday? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tell him. I still wanna do my stream. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm asking because maybe you know it's his birthday, and maybe he wants you all to himself. Yeah, but you know, when it comes to that late, we're not gonna be doing any, anything anyway. So, all right, we don't, we don't get out and do this much anymore. So, that's, that's, that's nowadays anyway. But. <laughs> oh man, twenty minutes. Uh, twenty minutes. Oh, are you, goodness. are you sure you just didn't leave and come back? You sure? Yeah, you too, man. I don't know what, whether whether who's serious with you two half the time. But you two better behave from now on. Or both of you are going to go in timeout for uh, I don't know at least a week or something. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll use my wrench and put both of y'all timeout. Now, I don't mind the joking back and forth and stuff, but 
Jesus, let's not get too uh, carried away here with this. <laughs> Bato, did you put him in timeout for 20 minutes? That wasn't nice. Well, it's five minutes at a time, so he'd have to put him in timeout four times in a row. Yeah, that's a lot. Isn't it? Yeah. I think that's a little, a little overboard. I mean, if he deserves it, you can time him out for a few minutes. But Jesus, 20 minutes, that's like the whole show, or at least half of it. Just kidding. Oh, okay. Well, now you're going in timeout for 20 minutes for real. They can get him. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I don't have a wrench on my own channel. <laughs> well, you, well, you can still do it. It's your channel. You should be able to do it. <laughs> can I? All right, let's see. Click. Put user in timeout. There yeah. we go. <laughs> All right, got to do it. I got to do it, healthy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I, I, man, yeah. I'm not going to put you in timeout. You guys got to behave, though. You're getting a little too, too crazy with this stuff. I can't keep with the idea if they are seriously serious or always joking yep same here tyson i don't know man I can't tell if they're serious or playing <laughs> yeah tyson said he to put in a nap time <laughs> okay <laughs> well mm -hmm. dagan go ahead time them out so well, you can go there. there's, there's no nap time option on this thing <laughs> <laughs> well you can put them in timeout he says he said, I need a nap, so a timeout would send uh, me to nap uh, time. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't read that right. <laughs> That'll make him go nap. <laughs> hey, if you need a nap, go take one, brother. You need your rest, man. You got to take care of yourself. I know you've been, uh, you know, doing a lot over there. Moving's a lot of work. It's lots and lots of hard, hot, heavy work. I know. I don't plan on moving anytime soon myself. Yep, you got that right, Brian. Hey, right? enough's enough sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Vato's laughing. <laughs> oh, that's good. You guys are crazy, but you're a lot of fun. You just don't can't tell if you're serious or not sometimes, man. Did you guys see uh, Fable released a 2,000 milligram tincture now? Oh, good Lord. On uh, Bearded Motivations channel. Mm -mm. Yeah. And the price is fantastic, too. $100. And you can use, uh, I guess, you know, Dave's code or whoever code you have if you want to use someone else's. But oh, yeah. uh, 15 will get you 15% off that. So that's a pretty good deal, man. I heard Gary's going to be doing a tincture, too. Yes, I heard that as well. I don't know how much it's going to be, though. I think it was the first one was a thousand. No, well, maybe fifteen. Well, it should be at least at least a thousand. It should be, I think. Yeah. <laughs> healthy beard. <laughs> You're bad, healthy. I know. Between between him and and Vado. Yep, yep. Crazy. And so what else? What else did we get? What else was uh new? Uh, Crushers released a uh, oud and strawberry uh, scent, I believe. Tiki had it. I was talking about it this morning on his uh, his video. Yeah, and I don't know if y'all. Been keeping track, but you know, Karam Karam has changed his bottles from round to square. So. Yes, sir. Yeah, he doesn't know yet, healthy, because with all the snow, the you know the mail didn't come. It was supposed to come today oh. or yesterday. Yeah, we haven't had any mail since Saturday, so. I don't know when I'm gonna get because I was hoping to do it this 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 weekend, but 
since I haven't got it, and I don't know when I'm gonna get it. I just got to wait till I get it to to set Maybe that up. Um, uh, tomorrow or Saturday. Well, yeah. When, whenever I get it, I'll reach out to James and Shaky because they're the only ones that respond to do it with me. So once I get it, I'll reach out to them and set, set up a day. Well, I heard Vato might join in. If he had one, he would do it too. And I heard Jake Cruz was ready to do it too, but he <laughs> didn't have one either. So somebody said if they just give them a, one of them devil's toes, they'll do it too. Well, let me know. Ooh, Brian, okay. That sounds fun. For you anyway, because you're the one giving the test. But uh, yeah, good luck to your students. Yeah, they're the uh, gifted students you have, right? Or the ones going to college, I think, maybe. I can't recall quite. No worries, Jay Cruz. Okay, Brian, have a nice afternoon. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you. Yep. Don't forget, guys, if you're not subscribed to Beards and Banjos, go give them a subscribe. Fantastic content. Yep, Brian. Thanks for coming in. See you later. And uh, J. Cruz, how, how is what? Uh, yeah. Kirama Nadurta. I think I'll oh. say that mixed up, too. Well, yeah, I've, I've already had Karam Nadurta, and I did had a view on him. Um, from last year sometime, it, it, his, his parts are great, outstanding. If you well, want to try them, yeah, healthy. If you want to try them out, you can use code BGG15. Yes, okay, see, yeah. now I, I just looked at my order on Amazon for the toe of Satan, and it says delayed. Not not shipped yet, so. Hmm. I wonder where they're shipping it from. Texas too. I don't know. Well, either way, if they're shipping it somewhere else, they can't probably get it to Texas right now either. So. Yeah, that's probably yeah because we haven't had any mail for the past week. Uh, yeah, healthy. Uh, J. Cruz. It is nine million Scoville units. True. Which is not as hot as the nut challenge I did, but the lollipop, since we're constantly sucking the lollipop versus eating a nut and swallowing it, it might feel it might feel hotter. Otto, man, you're bad. <laughs> Otto says he says, Cruz, I haven't washed it. <laughs> so it might be pretty so. <laughs> <laughs> how how hot is that? How hot is the toe? <laughs> Bottle answered this. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh good lord. <laughs> why would why would a wash it bearded Bato? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <you find it. laughs> oh. Where did you get all that awesome uh, stuff from? Healthy. That awesome sweatshirt and hat. Where'd you get all that stuff from? Yeah, healthy is pretty spicy. But I, I survived the death nut challenge. I think did it did it hurt hurt a little more than you let on? You can be honest. Well, well, you saw, you know, you saw afterwards about fifteen minutes afterwards, it started getting to my stomach, and I had to lean back a little bit. But yeah, I, yeah. I, I think that was only because I didn't. Yeah, I was, I did on an empty stomach, and I should have ate something beforehand. Yeah, you should have absolutely ate something. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think for a little bit while there, when those eyes were watering and. You couldn't quite talk because it hurt to talk. I, I think it was a little, little rougher than you were letting on there. Well, it was rough, all right, but I, I, I handled it. <laughs> it was rough, all right. Well, I'm not saying you didn't handle it. I just think it was a little, a little more rough than you, you actually let us, let us believe. No. I, like I think you were hurting a little bit more than you let on. That's all. No, I was I was hurt after about fifteen minutes afterward. My stomach was hurting. Well, then too, but you know, 
you know, right when it was peaking there in the middle, you know, and you were watering up bad and you couldn't talk like that then. I think it was just a little rougher than you let on, though. Just a little. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Hagen. <laughs> uh, you, you know, you handled that thing like a champ, bro. You know I said that the whole time. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have done it, man. No way. That probably would have ripped my ulcer open again. That hot. Yeah, that would not be good for an ulcer. No, I can imagine. No, I can imagine it wouldn't be. Oh, yeah. Uh, speaking of people coming with new stuff, I heard Copper Tyson might be coming out with a mustache wax. Oh, yeah. I did not hear that. I can't wait till he comes out with that wetlands uh, oil and butter, though. And he's going to do the women's line, but it's going to be separate from the men's line. Well, he's already got the body butter out. I know, but, but he's... Men and but, women. Yeah, but when he, when he actually comes out with some more women's products, it's going to be a, a separate name. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, that's his wife, uh, right, doing that. Yeah, his, his wife has some uh, input in that, for sure. No, I mean, she's the one doing the women's line, right? I mean, they're doing it together, but, yeah. you know, like, like his is the, the men's line, hers is the women's line kind of thing, and they both help help, help each other. Yeah. No? That's all, yeah, it's all one same thing, yeah. No, I know it's the same thing. I'm just saying, like, I think I thought I remember him saying this is like her baby, though, you know, like. Yeah. Like, he's backing her, but, you know, it's like her baby, you know? Yeah. I could be wrong, but I thought I thought, thought I remember him saying something similar to that, like his wife is... uh. The, the one, you know, the brainchild behind it all and all that. Yes. Well, speaking of, speaking of the body butter, I'm going to be having my husband do a review on it here mm. sometime. Mm. Well, I'll, I'll see. Just believe it when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know. I hope he doesn't have to back down because then, then I'll be doing the review. But I, I, I've been using it too, so. That's nice, ain't it? I yeah. enjoy it. Because with my uh, dry skin, I got real bad dry skin because of the RA. That stuff really helps a lot. And you know what I love about it the most is it doesn't leave any residue at all. You know, yeah. you use lotions, how it leaves that film on you. You know what I mean? Nothing. You, got, you have nothing on you at all. It just all absorbs nicely into your skin. And you get that nice scent. That's it. Right. Well, I love the scent. Mine's in the wetland scent, so I, I got love the, it. Yeah, I got the lemongrass one. Mm. How do you like that one? It was it's really awesome. Love yes, it. what Walt said. I believe she is heavily involved in the women's line. That's what I mean. Thank you, Walt. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, so... uh. Oh yeah, I got I got an, another review to do on another energy drink here soon. Yeah, very so I'll be, good. I'll be putting that out. Yeah, I need Maybe to next, do a, next week. I need to do a review of this. Awesomeness right here. Yeah. Give that coming good workout and Yep, going to. And then I need to do and I need to get a new phone. Maybe I should start a GoFundMe. <laughs> I can't afford a phone, man. So expensive. I got old iPhone 6. If you want it. Mm -hmm. Will that work on Sprint? Or T-Mobile now, I guess? You can get a switch to that, no? I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know. I've never used an iPhone before, though. How's the camera in it? Good? Good camera in those? No, they're decent, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a, I believe it's a 6, but, you know, they they have a 12 out now, so obviously it's, it's an older one, but... Yeah, well, mine's a 7, so... And I'll tell you what, my 4 that I gave my brother was better than the 7. I even <laughs> told him that when I gave him the S4. I said, this phone is a great phone. 
I don't know why they didn't make the new one, the, my new one, like, you know, the seven when I had it brand new. I said, I don't know why they didn't make this one like that one, because I actually like that one better than the seven. It works so much better. You got a couple questions there. Yes, they did, Vato. I have the Arius Man Butter, and, and I've been using it, and I like it. I've only used it a few days now, but I really, really am enjoying it so far. Oh, the battery's a mess, too. It won't charge, but the, the, uh, it's just the phone is so old now, Walt. It's just, uh, I think it's got too many issues now to even bother with. I have no storage left on the darn thing. I have a huge card in there, and I can't afford a ne the next size up. So the, uh, the, uh, I don't know. There's an issue with the, uh, you know, the little card that makes the phone work. There's an issue with that thing. It used to come on and off, but now it doesn't even go on anymore. So, I mean, it works on the Wi-Fi. So I just been using it that way, but now I can't, I can't even charge the damn thing. I don't know what's going on with it. I have to hold the wire to get it to charge. Or I have to put it down and then put something there, and that doesn't even work all the time either. And then it used to, I used to have this uh, wireless charger for it, but now that won't work either. So I don't know what the hell is going on with it. I put it on the wireless charger, it comes on, it says it's charging, and then three seconds later it starts blinking and it goes off and it, you know, tells me to charge it. So I don't know. Things, things are all haywire. I think it's just. I think it's like uh, Vado says, once they get to a certain point, they just send out bugs on it. So you got to get a new one because nothing seems to work and everything just seems to progressively be getting worse now. Yeah. I mean, how, how, how old is the phone? I don't know. I've had it for quite a long time. Now it's an S7. I don't remember when I got it five years ago, maybe four years ago, five. Yeah, Maybe so, more. I've had it for quite a while now. Yeah, so that sounds about right. So. No, I think I had that phone before I moved in here, and I've been here five years. So over five years I've been here. So I think I got it when I was living with my brother. So probably closer to six years maybe. Is there on the what, 21 now? That's 21 yeah, I know, but yeah, that many years, it sounds about right for a phone to start crapping out. Yeah, yeah, they just start going now, you know, there's nothing you can do with it. They make them like that now, I think, they really do, because like I said, I gave my brother my S4, and he's still using that phone, because it works so good. That was just a really good phone. I really like that one. I used that one before I gave it to my brother. I was using that one more than I was using my new one, because that's how much I liked it, but he got mad and threw his phone and busted it and he didn't have the money for a new one at the time so I gave him that one to use and he's still using it because like I said there's nothing wrong with it yeah Vado I, I, what, what he's talking about not charging right and had to move the cable I, I bet it's the charging port that's messed up yeah it's probably the charging port now because you know if you move it and hold it into a certain spot it will come on and charge. But, you know, you have to get it in that sweet spot. And who knows how long that'll work. Once that doesn't work no more, then I'm screwed. Because <laughs> then it won't even charge anymore. So, but, uh, yeah. You know, I don't know what they're doing with these phones, too, because I looked about getting a new phone, and now, you know, they used to be, you know, they give you the phone. And then charge you so much a month, but now they're gonna they charge you so, uh, a fee with the phone and a turn on fee and some other fee and you know and then you got all these add-ons now that you need insurance you need uh, the lookout thing you know the protection on the phone you know you can only lease them now too you can't get the uh, other option where they give you the phone for free for two years and you just pay whatever they monthly I guess I don't know forget what. What do they call that? Used to call that one. But they don't do that option no more now. It's just a lease option. And it's so much every month. But that price has gone up and up and up and up. Well, at first it was going up. Then it started coming down because nobody was buying them. 
but now it's going skyrocketing again. And then, you know, once you add up all that stuff on the monthly bill, it's just way more than I can spend now. You know, I can barely afford what I have. And that's now it's it was like 90 something a month. And now that it's paid off, it was like it went down to like 80 something a month. But the new ones are like they want like 140, 150 a month for. It's a lot of money, man. You know, being on a fixed income, I don't have that kind of money every month. But yeah. it doesn't even pay to get a get a uh, you know a lesser phone phone that doesn't work and ain't gonna suit my needs either. So I'm just hoping maybe I, I they help have a sale and I can grab something decent with a sale, you know. Or maybe if they do one of them buy one get ones, this way I'll have a backup one. So I'm gonna have to wait and see uh, what they come out with. Wait until some of these other, you know, too, I was looking to try and get a, like even an S9 or an S10. They don't even seem to carry them anymore. Like you used to be able to do that. Like when I bought my S7, I think they were already just releasing the 10. Because I couldn't afford to get the brand new newest model, you know. So I didn't get the newest model. I got the, the S7 when they were just releasing the S10. Or something, something to that effect. I think it was the S9 maybe or 8. I don't remember. But whatever it was they were releasing at the time, I got the older models. You know, it was a couple of years older than the one they were currently on. It might have been the 11 they were coming out with maybe. I think it was the 11 maybe. Because I looked at the 10 and it was too expensive. Then I looked at the 9 and it was still too expensive. And now they're even more money. It's ridiculous how much they they charge for these things now. Yeah, that's for sure. I, I know, well, I know with my you know I, I have AT and T, uh, and they have a program that you can. Uh, it's like a, like 12, 12 months or eighteen months that you can stretch out the payments for the phone. So and after yeah. that 12, after that twelve or eighteen months, you finish paying off, and the phones the phone is yours because you you're yeah. buying it, but. Well, that's what it is with the Sprint too, though. I think it's a lease to buy. It's a lease to buy or something, or you can trade it in for another model too if you want. And they'll, but they only give you a fraction of what it's actually worth, especially oh, yeah. if you have a nice, you know, cover on it and you take good care of it. I mean, I almost laughed at it when I looked at, you know, when my phone was still working good. I looked at trading it in for a newer model. Just, you know, for the heck of it. And then, uh, you know, to, they said, do you want to trade your phone in for a credit? So I put in the model of the phone to see how much they would give me. And it was laughable what they would have gave me. And especially awesome. compared to what they were asking for one still, you know? Well, yeah, same, same thing when I, when I did the Apple trade. Apple has a trade-in for old products. And I, I put my old iPad in there. And it told me what I was going to get. And I kind of just laughed at that. <laughs> so I just... You know, instead of trading it in, I just get to my my uh, husband's sister, just let let, let her, her have, let her have one. You know, what with a free phone? No, I my, my old I when I went to buy a new iPad, you know, I was going to trade in my old one. Yeah, but like like you said, they don't give you that much, so I just yeah, yeah. so I just gave it to my husband's sister. You know, good. Yeah, that's what I would have done too. That's why I gave my brother the the S four because you know. I wasn't going to trade that one in either because they don't give, give you enough for it. What they give you for is crap. I was going to try and sell it, see if I can get a few bucks for it. But, you know, he wound up needing it. So I just gave it to him. Well, actually, I kept using it, too, for myself for a while because it, I liked it better than the new one. Yeah, Vado just said, you know, look for deals like may switch companies. Sometimes you make a good deal for switching companies. Yeah, but I think that Verizon's monthly plan is m more than what Sprint and T-Mobile charge. So that's what prevented me, too, from uh, switching to another company. Because, like, you know, for the longest time, Sprint was the most affordable one for me. But now they've joined with T-Mobile, and their prices have gone up, too. Now their prices are more on par with T-Mobile than they were with Sprint, which was cheap. Sprint was cheaper than in T-Mobile, maybe like ten dollars a month or something, and that adds up, you know, when you're on a fixed income. You know, 
every little bit adds up. Yeah. So, well, hopefully we get that stimulus check again. Is it I'll be able to grab a phone? Yeah, I hope so. They need to do that. Huh? They need to pass that. Yeah, they do. People need it. That is for sure. So, uh, well, what can you do? Seems like when it rains, it pours, though, you know? I, I went to, uh, I went to, because uh, I'm running out of room on the phone, too, so I took off the app for, you know, Beard, Beard, Beard American Beard Club, and uh, I put it on my little backup phone. I have a little cheapo backup phone I use, you know? So I went to put the app on that one, and when I went to go put it on there, that phone, too, wouldn't stay on. It kept starting and going off and starting again and going off and starting again. It was like stuck in this cycle. So I restarted it. It was still doing it. I took the battery out, put it back in. It was still doing it. I couldn't believe this. So then I just finally I turned it off and I let it charge for a couple of days. And then finally I was able to put the uh, app on it. Right. Yeah, like Father said, you know, if you have an older plan and when you upgrade your plan, will go up too. So yeah, I know. Well, probably stick with the same plan. We just get different. I, I looked into getting a phone like about two or three months back, and uh, I didn't do it because what they were say, saying the monthly cost was going to be plus the. You know what, what I had to put up, put down that day, and then you know when you get a new phone, you need a new new uh, case for it because you know your old case ain't gonna fit the new phone. It's different size. Those things ain't cheap either, and you gotta get a good one to protect the phone nowadays. You know, because if you don't, it, you know, you'll, it'll fall apart, and you can't turn it turn it in if you wanna when it's falling apart, or you can't sell it later too when you're done with it if you want to. Even if you just want to keep it for a spare phone, you know, you, you know, you just want to have a nice cover on it to take care of it. I usually put an otter box on it. Those things ain't cheap, but they do protect the phone from, you know, if you drop it or whatever, it keeps it from breaking. God knows I've dropped my phone a few times. <laughs> yeah, have, and that have, thing, we, have, we all have. Huh? I think we all have. <laughs> yeah, you know, but it saves the screen from cracking on you or whatever, you know. So it's kind of worth it in, in that sense, you know, to, to, to have it. Yeah, I, I also put a screen protector thing on my screen, too. Well, the uh, OtterBox has a built-in. Yeah. Cover. But I just, use a, I just use a standard case that pops on like this, you know? Yeah. Kind of like the rubber, little rubber case. With the with the glass screen protector on the on the, on the glass. Yeah, that's probably okay too. But for me, you know, I'm clumsy, you know, because my RA, I you know lose grip on stuff, and I think I need a better a better one, you know. Like yeah. I need that extra protection. Yeah, other boxes. I didn't, know that. didn't I know they were lifetime warranty? I probably did know that, but I don't. Didn't remember that. <laughs> but that really doesn't matter because, you know, people switch out their phones and that's get a new one because it, the old one didn't fit the new phone because they're different sizes. Yep. That's the thing. <laughs> Every time I got a new phone, I got a, had to get a new outer box for it. <laughs> wow, Suzanne. <laughs> Took him almost an hour to clear the driveway. Wow. Jesus, man. Yeah, I, I thought I thought about doing that to my driveway, but driveway, but I said no. I'll just I'll just drive right over it. No. Well, it's probably all a frozen mess now. No, you got icicles on the side of the house. That's probably yeah. all frozen now too. Yeah. Make sure you put it in four wheel drive when you back out, just in case. Yeah, things are starting to things are starting to melt. So. Hmm. Things are starting to melt. Some the sun, sun's out. So. Well, 
yeah, it's going to melt it for a little bit. And then as soon as the sun goes down, it's going to freeze all up again. Yeah. And it's going to be probably even worse. It's yeah. terrible. Well, hey, Dave. Hey, what's up, Dave? Thanks for stopping in. There is no wind with electrons. Nope, you're right. There yeah. isn't. That's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah, I got some jolly old fat man butter. That I opened up this way. Which way? It's the opposite. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I get confused. Yeah, this is the dirty snow and it's guilty conscience. It's a uh, birchwood oud and champagne scent. And I got this from uh, Bell's, from Matthew over at Bell's Woodworking. Well, custom woodworking. It's uh, oil and butter or bomb holder. Then it has a slot for your comb and then a little, uh, or is it there? A little hole to put your scissors in there. You can stick the point of the scissors in there, your little trim scissors. My computer crashed and has been in the shop for four days. Oh, that's a nightmare. That's all I need now is my computer to go to. Oh, good God. I know. I. I How's it? <laughs> I don't think you got ginger ale smell out of it. Let me check. It does kind of a little bit now that you say that, Brian. I didn't get that before. I just assumed it was like a champagne smell. But you know what? Now that you say that, it does it does smell ginger ale-ish. You're absolutely right. That's weird. <laughs> I like it, though. It's a nice scent. Did, did you like it or no? Do you like ginger ale? Yeah, I did that again. You didn't tell me. On my driveway, healthy. Yeah. Did you use the old-fashioned sho shovel, Suisana? Yes, I like it. Very good. Yeah, it's a nice scent. I like it. It doesn't have like a... I don't think it's very bubbly, though. It might be a little bit. Is there supposed to be that... Uh, what do they call that? Uh, seltzer -y stuff in there? Well, champagne is bubbly. Well, it's got the scent of champagne in there. Yeah, that's bubbly. It smells like it could be in there, but it's not like uh, how I hear people describe uh, Dan C's collab. You know? It's not that bubbly, I guess. But yeah, you do, do get a little bit of that ginger ale and that scent in there. Very interesting. Yeah, because that was uh, Birchwood Oud Champagne. Mm-hmm. Krampus. He, he said Krampus is his favorite. Ah. What is Krampus? Krampus. Krampus, right? The Krampus? Krump, Krampus is a Santa Claus dude, right? Like the evil Santa Santa guy. Yeah. So that's, that's, it says it's a dark cologne. The base is eucalyptus. Think stanky, musky, manly smell unlike any other. <laughs> What's that, Krampus? Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I like uh, Misfit Toys. That's my favorite. That's like a black, black berry set. It's black. So uh, I can't remember. I, I'm getting it. A, sand, <laughs> sand, a sandalwood oud, blackberry eucalyptus. Blackberry. And it was black something in there. <laughs> and, it, and it says uh, some and some stuff not listed. Mm hmm Yeah, it's a really nice scent. I really enjoy it. I haven't tried Crumpus, though. see well what i have is not on there 
No, I, I, ha I haven't, Susanna, actually. Uh, last I heard was uh, when Eric was, uh, you know, doing his uh, vegan thing still. And they came out with that uh, new scent. What was it that? I think it was a melon scent. Everybody was liking. Well, I got. Do you have that one? I got Live Deliciously. Mm. Yeah, I have the uh, root, be root Beer scent. I actually w won that on uh, What the Cuss. Andrew's channel. What's that one? What the Cuss. Uh, and, I got, and I got Ginger Ale. Um, this is eucalyptus, spearmint, smoku, tobacco, cedar, cherry, and musk. Ooh. Do you get any of the cherry in there? I like cherry. <laughs> What's uh, smoke? Smo smo smoku? Is that a uh, like a smoke? I don't know. I've never heard of that one. See, Bam will use that stuff, man. You never even heard of in his blends. He is not afraid to go there. Oh, yeah. What'd you say, Dagan? I don't know. I got, hold on. No, I even got a Dan C. collab in Burton's oil. Limelight. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that one. That was the lime lime one, right? Yep. Lime light. Yeah. I remember that one. Mm -hmm. Dan's got quite a few collabs out there now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Lucky him. <laughs> he's he's earned earned every one of them though, that's for sure. All of the last looks things that are made after drinks are legit. Mm. Yeah, the concessions one. That's the concession, yeah. uh, concessions, uh, yeah. line. Yes, right. I know, like the ginger ale. It smells like ginger ale. Yeah, the root beer does. It smells like root beer. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I hope soon. <laughs> oh, he, I do have the one. One. Uh, ferocious collab but that's from his show you know so but that's the only one i have right now hopefully soon i'll be doing one but i have no idea yeah there's my collab sweet sleep love that scent it's a really nice scent uh, here, here, here's my collab apple grove yes i remember that one you got a new one coming too right yeah, that that'll be he'll be he'll be grading it. Uh, what the first Tuesday next month? Yeah, I forgot. I got ginger snaps coming too. Nate, Nate, I want it on a ferocious channel, and uh, and he he sent it out to Puzzly by mistake instead of me. So Puzzly hit DM'd me and said, "Yeah, I got your." I got your thing. Nate, Nate sent it to me by mistake. So he <laughs> said, just give me your address and I'll send it off to you. That's fine. So I told him, if you want to keep it, you know, you can. It's your collab. He said, no, no, I don't mind sending it to you. I said, okay. <laughs> that was nice of him. Because I know it's not cheap just to even send an oil nowadays. It's like five bucks or something just to send an oil. Yeah, Vado, you can't just choose one favorite company. Come on now. There's Wait, too, what? There's, there's too many good companies out there to choose one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just choose one. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, you can't just choose one. That's not fair. Yeah, yeah. I go back to Brian's question about when are we doing a collab? It's like, yeah, like, like he said, we have one with Ferocious, but that's, that's from his channel yeah, from, and, our, and our and the since we picked have happened to be one of the ones that got picked so that's not really a true collab yeah it's not but it is a, it is from collaboration corner so it is a collaboration with nate you yeah. know but it's not like a company reached out to one of us to no it. no no 
but it's still a collaboration. Yeah. I mean, I said that's what Nate calls it, and that's not what I named it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, look at uh, even Billy, you know, he calls all his proudly like they're the collabs, you know? Yeah. So I guess it depends on what your view of a collab is, too. True. Yes, man. Healthy has a few uh, collabs with Cremo and with you <laughs> guys, and uh, he gets money from them every month, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, code HEALTHY15 will save you 15% on Cremo and Beard Guys. Yes, it will. <laughs> and on holidays, it's, uh, it's HEALTHY20. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, that's for sure. So, how many uh, push-ups did Healthy have to wind up doing? Well, back when Black Friday, when he kept buying stuff, he had to do a lot, didn't he? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember what the total uh, tally was. Don't know. God, I'm ready to turn the air on in here. It's so hot. Ugh. This is terrible. It's February, man. You shouldn't need air conditioning, even in Florida in February. You wouldn't think so, but. <laughs> no, you shouldn't, though, for real. It's crazy. It's snowing and snowing in Texas and melting in Florida. Yeah, like uh, like today it is. Far from each other. How can it be so hot here and so cold and snowy there? It's not like you guys are in Canada or nothing. <laughs> right, and you know it's gone up to thirty-one degrees here in Dallas. See, yeah, uh, you guys are thirty-one, and I'm eighty-five or something. Well, probably higher than that now. But but but, but next next Wednesday is going to be high as seventy-two. Ugh. I'm afraid to even see what it's going to be here that day. Hopefully, it'll be in the 30s here then. <laughs> you guys get hotter. Right, we'll get I'm colder. I'm about I'm about to look at Newport here. Oh, you're you're going to actually go. You're going to start going down. I hope so, because we could use some cool weather here. T tomorrow, a high of 70 in Newport. That's too high still. I need All like right. some winter weather, man. Well, okay, it's high of 64 on Saturday. Mm -hmm. But then back up to 73 on Sunday, 75 on Monday. Oh, you're killing me, man. When's it going to drop down to 40? Uh, no. No. All, 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 the, all the way to the 4th of next month, that's going to be in the 70s. Oh, good Lord. These people are killing me. They're all killing me. <laughs> Well, at least it'll be 64 on my birthday. Yeah. I can open up the doors and the, the windows and get one of them nice uh, cool naps, you know? Yeah. Hey, Devin. How's it going? Hey, what's up, Dev? What's going on? There's another guy. You, ain't, you guys ain't subscribed to Devin here? Go subscribe to him, man. He puts out great content. I really enjoy watching your stuff, Dev. I know lately, you know, you've been really busy now. You're back at school and playing basketball and your schoolwork. And yeah, I know you just released a video because you got a little break, right? But uh, but prior to that, you were so busy you didn't even weren't releasing any uh, new videos for a bit there. Hopefully, you got a chance to film a few while you're on break there before you go back. Oh, wow, absolutely, brother. It's all about sharing the love. Yeah, absolutely, for sure. I haven't tried Renewed Man yet, and I still need to try them. It's just so expensive. It's so hard to try everybody. And then you got companies that you've tried already, and then they redo their blend, and then you're dying to try their new blend. And you just, uh, I don't know, I just can't seem to win. <laughs> you know? Oh, never, never ending list of 
products I need to try. I know. I, I, I me too, Ron. I, I wish I wish I had the funds to be able to just buy them all. Buy buy much stuff, you know, like that these other guys do. I, I I don't have the funds for that, so. I wish I did too, man, but I don't. Um, maybe I should rethink my whole not asking for pro products thing here. You know, because you see other people that's like, hey, man, I don't I ask because I can't afford them. You know, well, I can't either. But Right. Did we lose Ron? I think we lost Ron. That's OK. But uh, maybe I should. Ron. Having trouble connecting. Now my internet connection is uh messing up here. I don't know what that was. Yeah, yeah we Spectrum, lost him for Spectrum. Yeah, Spectrum again. They probably uh re resetting the thing or something. I hope they don't turn it off. I'm cheap. I only purchase beard products about three, four times per year at this point. I need to start doing that too. Yeah, I think he did melt it. <laughs> uh, you're going out again, Ron. I don't know if you can hear me, Ron. But yeah, Votto is just called self control. Self control. But it seems like we don't have it these days. <laughs> we just want those beard products. Uh, Interfere. I don't know what. All right, you're coming back, Ron. Now you're breaking up. Well, I can see on this end. Your picture's frozen and your voice is breaking up. Hmm. I'm not frozen to me. Uh, well, there you are. Isn't you're you're back now. Yeah, you're back now. Yeah, when you said I was frozen, though, on my end, I wasn't frozen. Oh, Isn't that my, weird? My, yeah. <laughs> like I'm going, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm not frozen. <laughs> Very weird. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, now I got now it's my show. Yeah, right, says Donna. You know, buy on the really good deal days, but <laughs> sometimes it's hard for a I viewer don't know because you know, a viewer they do that, you know, coming may change or blend between the time you get around to reviewing it. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate that. Ooh. This reminds me of when I had my stream Monday. I lost power in the middle of, well, about 15 minutes in, I guess it was. I lost power and I, I got on my phone. But then my phone kept disconnecting. That was That was fun. Anyway, yeah. I don't know, Ron. <laughs> this ain't gonna cut it. But anyway, yeah. As you can see, my mustache is growing out now. Getting a little longer. Probably about a thumb thickness past my lip now. So man. I can't. So once this this matches this, look out, y'all. That's when I need to start trying different mustache waxes. I do have Savvy Jack. Savvy Jack is one I enjoyed the most. It had the most hold. So if anybody has another experience. With, oh, now we got two Rons. Why am I up there? How do you have two of me? You logged in twice somehow, I guess. I don't know how. There we How's go. That? There we go. <laughs> well, that was really weird. <laughs> well, I'm just going over mustache waxes. I just want to say if anybody has a good... Uh, mustache wax product that they know of let me know but besides besides Sav Sav Savvy Jack let's see renewed artist and damn Yankee Define and classic Grammy hmm. yeah see that's that's the way to do it buy one's all on sale buy one get one freeze Huge discounts. Yeah, I try to buy everything when it's on sale, but there's still, you know, you take you take 
you knock 10 things off your list and then you got and then you wind up putting 30 back on it <laughs> you can't seem to win all right i'm gonna write that down brian rover what are you writing down that roll roll but i asked i asked them if they had oh, they a good mustache yeah. wax okay yeah royal beardsman is my fro am i frozen again what the hell is going on well now you are no, you're off and on off and on i don't know what's causing that i don't know but what's your favorite barbecue food item from susanna hmm i like uh you know ribs no i right, don't ribs. huh no, i can't do that you can't do ribs i don't do i don't do ribs i don't do wings anything that has bone really? and, well yeah there's not enough meat and too much bone well you can get boneless wings yeah they're, they're, those are called nuggets <laughs> no they have boneless wings they're in the same stuff they're big chunks of meat no no they're not nuggets they're bigger than nuggets well they're like you know they're like 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 yay big i don't yeah. know where you're buying them at but they're like this big i never seen no nuggets that big they're like the size of two or three nuggets yeah yeah i i get boneless wings when i get wings and you get you get a whole big pile of them too so it doesn't matter there's only a few bites on the bone either you get a whole big basket full of them yeah but it's too much work trying to get a little too bit much of work around. too much work trying to get a little bit of meat around that bone they're delicious though man nah. it ain't too much work for all that good goody good goodness what about I like lobster tail you won't eat that because you got to crack it out of the shell no i never had lobster so you've never had lobster mm -mm. are you kidding me no why have you never had lobster you gotta try lobster I, I eat a lot of shrimp. I love shrimp. Shrimp's delicious too. A lot of you like shrimp, you'll love lobster. Yeah. Gotta try some lobster, man. Well, not Avado, you can get spicy and, and boneless. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I get in the mood for the bone boneless too. Yeah, like sometimes I love, with I love making wings in my air fryer. They taste so freaking good. I swear you don't even need to put sauce on them because they're so good. They come out so freaking juicy and so tasty. You can just eat them right out of there without, you know, putting them in a bowl and dumping hot sauce and shaking it. Oh, look at that. See, Susanna, she loves, I mean, he loves shrimp, and but he uh, dislikes lobster, you know. So they they are two different things. Tastes really. the same. No, I mean, sure the lobster tastes no. the same. Yeah, if you no. cook shrimp, it tastes the same as cooked lobster. No. How do you know? You never even had it, and you're saying no. Well, that's a, that's the same thing as you know chicken. You know, it's going to taste the same as uh, ostrich meat. Well, no, chicken tastes like rabbit and like snake. That's same concept. Shrimp tastes different from lobster. No, it don't. Chicken tastes like rabbit and snake, and so lobster tastes like shrimp. <laughs> They're all seafood. They all taste ah. the same. No, no. It's like oysters and clams. They kind of taste the same, too. Oh, no. I, I'm not going to do that. That's slimy. slimy. Well, you're not raw cooked. Cooked clams ah. and cooked oysters. Mm-mm. Not for me. No. Raw shrimp don't taste like cooked lobster, obviously, but cooked shrimp it tastes very similar to cooked lobster. Oh, well, I guess it's all a matter of taste. We all have different tastes. <laughs> well, don't taste. Well, really, lobster don't really have a taste. To me, the lobster tastes like the butter you put it in, and like a seafoody taste, like shrimp. Now, I don't eat snake, but people that have eaten snake say it tastes like chicken. Like you hear them say rabbit and gator taste like chicken and snake tastes like chicken. That's what people say. I, I haven't yeah. never eaten snake personally, though. Yeah, I've never either, but I've heard plenty of people say that. 
I've, yeah, that's what I mean. I've heard plenty of people say that too. And it's the same thing. It, you know, lobster tastes like shrimp when it's cooked. Yeah, fishy butter. Yeah. Fishy butter? So Tiki, Tiki, talk about eating it. <laughs> well, if you've got fishy taste in lobster, man, and you ain't getting it at the right place because it shouldn't taste fishy at all. <laughs> they must have been sitting it next to the, the fish or something too long. Bread it, bread it and deep fry it. It all tastes the same. Exactly. See, even Brian says. All right, well, he's a teacher. But if we're not if we're not frying it, just just you know, just regular shrimp, cooked shrimp versus cooked lobster. I think they'd be tastes the same still. I don't know. It tastes like seafood. Well, you know what? Shrimp don't really taste taste taste. Shrimp to me tastes like the sauce you dip in it. Dip it in. Same with lobster. It tastes like the butter you put it in. The drawn butter. I, I mean, know, in I, of itself, it doesn't have like a a, a a lot of flavor in and of itself. It really doesn't. Well, yeah, I agree with that shrimp, but I, mean, I never had lobster, so I can't say anything. So, and lobster, I think, has even less of a taste than shrimp does. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I like shrimp. I like shrimp in all different ways, but my fa my favorite is uh, popcorn shrimp. If you like shrimp, I think you'd like lobster. Yeah. What about sushi? You like sushi? Yeah, sushi's okay. It's got to be good sushi, though. You know? <laughs> but good sushi is really good. Yeah, you know, it's sushi, you, mean, you can get, you know, these days you can go to your local grocery store and get sushi. They have this guy making it fresh all every day. Yeah, but it's got to be good. I have not tried pheasant, Pato. I have had deer meat. Deer meat's oh, great. Deer yeah. meat's delicious. Yeah, ven venison's good. Yeah, really, really, really good. And my buddy Richie, his father used to go hunting all the time. And, you know, he'd give me uh, steaks and venison, chopped meat, and you name it. I remember one time I got the chopped meat from him. My mother used it to make meatballs. For the you know spaghetti dinner, and I'm telling my dad about how delicious the deer meat is, and as you'd love it, you know you got to try it. And I thought, no way would I ever eat that. You know he's carrying on about it. He'd never put, never go past his lips, and you know yada yada yada. Meanwhile, he's sitting there shoveling these meatballs in his mouth that are deer meat meatballs, and he didn't even know because my mother didn't dare tell him. <laughs> So as he's sitting there eating deer meat, he's like, I would never eat deer meat. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my mother are looking at each other laughing, you know. <laughs> yeah, She's yeah, like, yeah. don't ever tell him, Ronnie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Vado, I was going to say the same thing. I, you know, I'm six foot, but standing next to Tiki, I, I'd be a shrimp. Nothing better than gas station sushi? Oh, I don't know about that one. Yeah, Brian. yeah, no. <laughs> I wouldn't trust that. <laughs> it must be one hell of a gas station. It must be like in Beverly Hills or something. <laughs> Tiggy, you would be calling us all shrimps then. Y'all still here? What's up? Jay Cruz, why do you always come in and out, in and out, in and out? Stay the whole time from now on. Oh, he's getting the extra views. Well. <laughs> yeah, but he leaves for so long. He can go in and out, but he's got to go well, out and come right back in then. Some, some, Not leave some. for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, and then come back. <laughs> he's busy. Well, he's we busy. miss you, man, when you're gone. He's at, he's at work, he said. <laughs> well, you got to just put your little earbud in and hide the phone so you can listen then. <laughs> Yeah, you never told us what you do at work. Who he wants to guess? What does healthy do at work for help for work? I don't think he'll ever tell either. What does everybody think healthy beard bearded does? I don't know. It's probably something we would never guess. Maybe. I think he uh I think he works in uh Maybe like as a counselor or something like that. Now he said he works for YouTube. I can tell you that's a, that's a lie right now. We're talking about healthy. 
Yeah, well, he makes he's a he's a reviewer, but I don't know if he actually works for YouTube. I think he's a counselor or something, something similar along those lines. Well, that would be great with his personality. Yeah, I think so. Jay Cruz is at work and Votto is at home because he is on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so, so no, nobody's got any guesses on what what uh, on what Jay Cruz does. I have no guesses that I, I don't I don't want he to try. Drives that, he drives that fat Cadillac, so he must make some decent money. Well, no, you can get a pretty good Cadillac for cheap. Well, this is a newer one. You can tell it's a nicer, newer one. It's one of them small Cadillacs, you know, like the new little ones. Well, yeah, I mean, my, my husband drives a Cadillac CTS. It's a 2010 model, though. His is like thinking it looks look like a sporty model to me almost. I don't remember what one it was though. But it was nice. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, nobody wants to guess what you do, healthy. Well, just just tell us healthy. Come on, tell us. Yeah, what he says. <laughs> what do you think he does? You think Healthy's a tax collector? <laughs> Why do you think he's a tax collector? He might be a good tax collector. Tax collector, with, with his you know bubbly personality, man. People would just be like, "All right, wait up a minute, here, man. Here's your check." <laughs> He'd get everybody to pay all their back taxes and then some. <laughs> right. Yeah, but Vado says he's a drug dealer. <laughs> a drug dealer. <laughs> that would that would make some sense. No. <laughs> He's a used car salesman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, 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 Cruz, it, he'd be good at that too. <laughs> Jay Cruz is one of those guys that called you to sign up for different things at dinner time, just not on Tuesdays. Well, that could be true, T. <laughs> Right. Damn, all I got was a nap. Grr. Yeah, that's terrible. It wasn't a very long nap either, was it? Uh, well, probably about an hour. So we, we've been on here for two hours and 12 minutes. Yeah, we've been on here for quite a while, huh? Boy, that's a long unboxing, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been more, been more than just that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this does smell nice. It does have a ginger alley smell to it, though. It really does. That's pretty wild. I never would have realized that either if, he, if Brian didn't say it. The only thing I got to worry about is like, no, I got, I got to be, on, I've got to be on my workload planning meeting call at, at in forty five minutes. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you do with that? What do you do? We just talk hey, about just talk about workload for the next week, and what we're doing and what we need to do, and blah blah blah. So, what are you the uh, talking to the uh, people that work under you, or is it with your bosses? No, just with the other management. Oh, okay, all right. I'm just I, curious. Yeah, I heard he's a tester for Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> And what calls to remind you about your warrant car warranty? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I hate those warranty calls all the time. Trying to make you buy a warranty for calling you about your car's warranty that you don't even have. <laughs> that your warranty is running out. You better renew it before it's too late. <laughs> and they never even had had that warranty. They even right. as a big analyst. <laughs> no. Well, I'm in shipping in a way, but uh, Brian wants to know what I want, what I do. Well, Brian, I've been with the same, well, first of all, I'll give a little backstory. I've been the same company for a little over 20 years now. And majority of that time, probably about 16 years of that, I was in, in loss prevention, you know, security, 
and I, I was a loss prevention manager. But the last store I worked at as security manager, it closed down. I, there's nothing else for me to go into, but in, into receiving if I wanted to stay with the same company. So I became a receiving manager and that's what I do now. So I work all the back of house stuff now on the operations side. So what happens now if someone comes in and steals some? Well, they have security people for that. But at the time when I, uh, my store closed down, there was nothing for me to go into uh, managerial wise, because I was a security manager. There was no position open. So, yeah. But I like the operations side too. I mean, I miss I miss the security side, but I like I love the operations side too. You think they'll ever open up the security stuff again or no? Well, that thing's changed so many times since then. They they've, you know, since since I left security, they they've they combined operations and AP once, and they then they separated it out again. You know, yeah. they, don't, they don't know what they're doing. And some, some stores know. don't. Some stores don't have security managers anymore. It's all based on the size of the store, whether you have a, a security manager or not. Yeah, but you know, they just don't even bother with it now. I don't understand that. That where they wouldn't have it at all anymore. I mean, there's a lot of loss if uh, people are just stealing stuff. But now you got politicians won't even, you know, won't even. Uh, you know, we'll say don't don't you you know we'll tell the prosecutor don't even charge anyone if it's under a certain amount of money anymore if they steal. Well, you know, let them get away with it. Well, one one of the reasons that is that because you know jails were filling up too quick and they couldn't handle it. So it's, so they give them a ticket basically instead. Jails yeah, they probably don't even pay that either. So. <laughs> but no, yeah, well, these companies are eventually going to get tired of taking all the losses too. Yep, that's why, that's why your prices go up, too. That, too, yeah. You're right. People are going to get tired of that, too. Because the companies aren't going to take that loss. They'll pass it on to us. It's like they always do. You're right. Yeah. I'm <laughs> And Billy, but he gets paid 607 a week. Yeah, it's got funny because he, yeah, he don't like 607. <laughs> I know. Anytime someone mentions that, Billy goes goes berserk. <laughs> no. I don't even want to mention him no more because I don't want to hear Billy, <laughs> Billy go, go, go nuts anymore on it. <laughs> yeah. Who was it again that won? Drew's uh, giveaway. I should have entered that. I don't know why he didn't. I wanted someone who didn't try to get it. That's why. I don't know. I I kind of stopped entering giveaways like that. Um, just on live live streams, I'll still try to do a giveaway sometimes. But if I if I already have it and I do win, I, you know, I'm I'm probably just gonna get to somebody else. Yeah, probably me too. But I didn't already have one of them. It was one of them skull ones, I think. But I just wanted someone who didn't try them yet to, to win. <laughs> yeah, I know, Tiki. And, you know, I, I actually miss those days of stopping people for theft. You know, I, I've stopped, you know, I'm six foot. I, I've stopped people tall, you know, bigger than me. And I, I, I'll wrestle them to the ground. Well, you got to do it. That don't bother me. I, I've, I've, I took it to, I've taken this guy down at six four, so... He, and he was a lot bigger to round than me too. I, I, got, I, I got him on the ground. Well, I got I got him on the ground, and that's about, that's about all I could do. I get get him on the ground and hold him the ground, and luckily the sales associate called the police for me. Yeah, luckily you, you got to hold him until the police come. Yeah, I so I have I trapped him on the ground. He couldn't get up. I trapped him on the ground. But that's all I could do, just to yeah. keep him there until, until the police showed up, helped me out. Yeah. So, t so if a guy like Tiki walked in the store and he tried to steal, I'd I'd have no issue take you know trying, at least trying to take him down. <laughs> yeah, well, well uh, yeah, I don't know if you get Tiki down. He's a big dude. No, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, right? You might get him down, but what if he gets on top and you know hits you? Well, I I I I know I know certain moves that, I, that I've used to get bigger people down. So yeah, well, I would hope you'd have training trying to take guys down bigger than you. Crying out loud. 
Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Congratulations, Billy. <laughs> says you're an ambassador for 607. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> Oh yeah, Tiki said karate. Yeah, that that reminds me of something. My my cousin has a friend that that's that's probably it's probably big as Tiki, and these three guys tried to jump him one time. Can you imagine three guys trying to jump a guy size of Tiki? But anyway, foolish. Uh, I know it's foolish, but th but the, my friend, mm -hmm. my my cousin's friend, who's about the size of Tiki, he he has a black belt in three different uh, uh, you no know, martial art forms. So when, when, he, when these three, when, yeah, when these three guys dumped him, they immediately regretted it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you mopped the floors with them. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, three, three, three punks in the park. My father, after he had back surgery, he was walking with a cane. You know, he was just learning to walk again after major back surgery, and he was crossing over the bridge in the middle of the park. And these three punks come out of the bushes, and you know, oh, we're gonna get this old man. You know, we're gonna rob him. And, you know, my dad, we till they got near him, he kicked the shit out of all three of them. He was an MP in the Marines. <laughs> so he beat the shit out of all three of them, threw them over the bridge into the creek. <laughs> and went home and called the cops on him. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Well, you know, they're thinking, oh, man, we're going to get him. But, but you know, because my father lost his hair very young, so he was very balding. And, you know, walking with a cane because he was recuperating from back surgery. They figure, oh, we're easy target. Yeah. He, showed, he showed them. They'll think twice next time they try to grab an old man in the park now. That's why I say never judge a book by its cover. Nope, never. You'll be, you'll be surprised. Yep. Yeah, well, that's true. That's true, Tiggy. Well, he should uh, be joining uh, Instagram, too. I know, you know but, I, but, you know, people like me post their codes in the description of their videos. Yes. I even post the same information in my description of my videos. I, I, I've been posting it on my live feeds, too. <laughs> Billy, that's freaking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, come on, Billy. <laughs> Screw you guys. Oh, I'm going home in my best Cartman voice. <laughs> oh, yeah, and, um, you, guys are, you guys are the best, man. You make me laugh so much. I am, Billy. A bad mood this morning, man. And, and Billy. You guys got me laughing. <laughs> Yeah, and Billy, when I do get my toe of Satan in, whenever that is, I'll be reaching out to y'all to set up a time for that. I still haven't heard any more about that nose waxing thing. This thing right here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they're going to do about that. <laughs> it's not. I've tasted lobster without dipping it in butter. Ah, you guys are crazy. No, but cooked, cooked, cooked shrimp and uh, cooked lobster uh, taste the same to me. They both taste like seafood. <laughs> Vato. They do. Look at Vato. <laughs> Vato. And oh. Billy, here to tune in back at 6 p.m. For, for another live stream. Oh, God, Vato, you're terrible. Uh, terrible vodka. They're going to put you in timeout, Vada. <laughs> I don't dip anything in anything. No sauces. Wow. None? Right. Yeah. You don't, about, to, you don't need to dip, dip shrimp in anything. No, you don't have to, but most people use uh, cocktail sauce. I don't always, but nah. you know, I, I do with some of them and some I don't. Depends. I, I, I'm with Susan on this one. You can do a lobster shrimp review video. <laughs> um, <laughs> no condom. You don't put ketchup on your fries? 
Well, yeah. Or mustard on your hot dog. Or Ron, uh, actually, both of you. <laughs> well, I, no, I do condiments on things like that, but but I, I was agreeing with him on the shrimp part. But yeah, but most people do use cocktail sauce when they eat shrimp. Yeah, that's, that's fried or or raw or you know, when a shrimp cocktail or whatever. Yeah. Fried shrimp, whatever it is, you know, uh, breaded shrimp. They stick it in the cocktail sauce and eat it. It doesn't mean they bury it in cocktail sauce, but they just, you know, dip it in there. No condiments at all. All right, so, mm -hmm. Su Susanna, what's your favorite way to eat shrimp? Like butterfly, fried, popcorn shrimp? What? I oh, like I all, all of them. Butterfly is real good. I, I like fried. I like deveined. Fried popcorn. Yeah, I like it to vein. Well, they do, Tiki. Some people do. I'm not like that. I don't put ketchup on everything. Yeah, no. But I like ketchup on my hamburger and on my french fries. Now, ketchup for french fries, mustard for hot dogs and hamburgers. Mustard, you can put, you can, sometimes I'll put ketchup and mustard on a hamburger. Sometimes I'll put ketchup and mayo on there. Depends on what I'm in the mood for. Sometimes I'll put all three on there. But see, when you have Taylor ham and cheese, then you got to put mustard on it. Yellow mustard. I know. Susanna on a live with BGG. Yes. Well, that'd be a live with BGG and Ron because we, we co host. So. Yes. Or with Dagan, depending on whose channel it is. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, w I wish you know more people be willing to jump in on my lives, on my my community talk lives. Yeah, it'd be, be much more fun. Be fun. Well, even, you, know, you, can't, you can't make them pay, make I people. Know. If they don't I want know. to. They don't feel comfortable. You know. I know. But just for like, I don't five, want to force five, nobody either. You know, even five, fifteen minutes. You know. Yeah, but even if you want to jump in just for a minute or two, you know, because you, you don't want to stay long, that's fine, too. Jump in, say hi. Because, you know, I know I love, for me, it was like, it was like really scary at first. But once you get them first few ones out of the way, then it's like, you're, you're, you you know, you get to a place where you're like, oh, this ain't that bad. Yes, yeah, sis, Anna, you say you've never been invited to live, but remember, my lives are open for anybody to pop in if they want. So yeah, Ron, you need a Georgie perch, so he's always there. Now I do have a little thing in the truck, on my truck that has wheels on it. You know, a perch thing. He's got a big round metal tray thing on it that you screw to the to the stand, and then it has a big arch thing and a perch going through it. <laughs> Yeah, so Susan, <laughs> you are welcome on my live anytime. I have no room in here to leave it somewhere when I'm not using it. That's the problem. So that's why it's in the box in my back of my truck. I never even brought it in. So I don't even have space to put it away nowhere in here. It's too small of an apartment. All right, I got about 15 more minutes and I'll have to get off. Yes. Very good. How long is your meeting? However long it takes. It's usually it's going it's to be at least thirty minutes, up to an hour. So, uh, uh, but average average about thirty minutes. Mm, probably average about forty-five at least. You think they'll uh, say, you know what? Since it's snowing now, let's just uh, you know do the same old same old and call it a day. <laughs> well, they they are planning. To be open tomorrow. So mm. now, are these meetings very pertinent in your opinion, or are they just a waste of time and just doing it so you can say you did it? Well, it, a little bit of both. I'd say a little bit of both because <laughs> yeah, I'd say probably yeah. <laughs> well, you know, usually they have you do. Usually, it's the big boss that has you do stuff like this so that they can say. That, oh yeah, well we yeah we had them have a meeting in there every day, you know. 
Yeah, you know, I mean, whatever. I mean, it, it's good to have them to, so everybody's on the same page, you know. So. Well, yeah, maybe like quarterly or something is all you need, though. Not uh, weekly or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Anybody have the, uh, that baby Jesus sent? Jolly old fat man. That one sounded good, too. It was between this one and that one. I couldn't decide, and then I finally just went with this one. Sweet baby Jesus. Well, that's a two, Tucson leather, amber heart, smoked cedar, smoked vanilla. That, yeah, I bet that smells pretty good. Yeah, it sounds like it, don't it? That's yeah. why I wondered if anybody has it. Uh, Brian has oh, it. Oh, how do you like how do you like that, Brian? How, how do you like that one? No, but I don't think I'll ever braid my beard. Me either. I might. It's not really long enough. I don't think it's long enough to braid anyway. I not mean, like. If I had a girl that I might let her braid it if she knew what she was doing, but I'd be afraid afraid that it would get knotted and stuck and you know it might maybe break while it's <laughs> braided or something. Excuse me. Yeah, Brian. Oh, says, Brian says it's the darkest of his scents. Oh, is it? I need to wear it again. I love dark scents, so I'd probably really like that. What was in it again, Dagan? It is Tuscan uh, two leather, amber hearth, smoked cedar, smoked vanilla. Sounds good. Yeah. Dagan, what do you like? <laughs> for an end game if he braids his beard would look cool hey it would yeah it needs to be long maybe, right? maybe long. Double, double braids you know like a braid here and here yeah right here like this instead braid of braid. one yeah like this yeah two like that yeah Now you got a French fork. <laughs> I know. I'll work it back in. Do you still straighten your beard? No, I no, I don't use that the heat that much often anymore. Yeah. You don't kind of need it once you get to a a certain length, I think. But you know, after a while, the, the, these these waves you can see a little bit. They they start getting worse after you know a while. But. Hmm. Yeah. Well, my husband's motion motioning at me a while ago, saying I've I've been on it for a while. <laughs> yeah, you'll get there, Susanna. Well, you didn't you hear you just didn't you hear you say you got to go in ten minutes or whatever you said for your meeting. Oh, he didn't he didn't hear that. I'm I'm in the room. The door's closed, but the door the door over here is uh, has glass panes in it, so he can motion them. He, he like motion said two hours. He's, like, He's getting God. off soon, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did he hear that? <laughs> no, the door's closed. They so can't hear anything. No, darn it. Well, I tried, <laughs> man. Who is all live tonight? I think Joe, Beard Life is live tonight. Um, yeah. Who else is live tonight? I think Andy and Andy, Andy and James. No, Rack. Is he live on Thursday still or Tuesdays now? I forget. I don't know. I don't I got, know. I got my meeting. I always log into on Thursdays. Oh, is John John starting? Judge Hurst? When's John starting back up? I know he said he's coming back soon. Yeah, it's been a minute for him. Mm -hmm. As what you call it, calls the flying mustache. <laughs> now the flying beardsman. Yeah, he 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 did. Hey, he had a really good interview style. 
So. Yeah, he's really good at interviewing. Yeah, the Flying Beardsman, Brian. I seen a post on Instagram, I don't know, maybe a week or two ago. Might have been a little longer ago now. He said he was coming back, but I haven't seen him back yet. So, but I know he's, he is coming back. Remember when he shaved his beard off? Everyone was calling him the flying mustache. Yeah. <laughs> he had that big, awesome mustache, though. Throw snowball at y'all. Yeah. Hey, damn weather back. Hey, Troy. Hey, Troy, what's up? Oh, yeah, I like Johnston. Me too, man. He is, he's really good at interviewing. I, I messaged him a few times and said, dude, you, you, you should be a professional interviewer. Like, he should be on, like, a, a talk show at night, man. He's really good. I don't know how you get, like, that's got to be just naturally gifted like that. But John always said he, he's he been, he's gifted to, to be able to talk, so. Yeah. And it shows, man. Yeah, I'm looking forward to him coming back. That would be nice. Yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed to uh, the Flying Beardsman, go give him a sub. He's fantastic. He should be back soon. I thought he would have been back already by now, based on his last uh, IG post anyway. But, you know, we, when you got kids and, you know, your teacher and, you know, things come up sometimes, I guess. So when you, when you got a family and you're married, and so... But hopefully soon. Shivering my butt off. Other than that, doing good. <laughs> oh boy. Suicide GC Mo's video on the new company, Glass of Grooming. I did. I saw that, Bato. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Drew said they're, 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 that classic is really good too. It's the second person now that I've seen say that that they're like going to be. Uh, they may they may very well be uh, the 20, 21, 20, 2021 company of the year. People are already uh, saying that they're that good. I got to try these guys soon. Maybe so. Because you know you don't you don't hear Mo and Drew say that about too many companies. That they're, you know, the company of the year, you know. Yeah, I don't think yeah. I've heard them say that about any company, <laughs> to be honest yet. Doesn't mean they haven't. I just haven't heard it if they did. Oh, Suzanne bought Classic Green the other day. Wow. Mm -hmm. What happened? Susan so says she hadn't she hadn't seen the video, but she but he bought some uh, classic grooming the other day that they released it. I just got bearded Mac. Now I want to try Aztec Magic, Honyaker, Beard Mana, and Captain Stash. Me too. Well, I have beard bearded Mac. I have plenty of that. I love bearded Mac. I want to try Aztec and Magic. Love Honyaker. Love Beard Mana. Captain Stash. I've not tried. Yeah, like Billy said, I do uh, want to try them still. Yeah, Wolfie Weirdbeard has been posting on IG again lately. Yes, I seen that. I was wondering where the heck he'd been for so long. He was around and doing uh, reviews, and then boom, one day he was gone. I was like, where the hell did he go? And uh, just as quick as he he came in and left, he was back again now. Yeah. <clears throat> Almost all of my most useful beard knowledge is from Bearded Existence. I was ready to support him immediately. Bearded Existence, who's that? Yeah, he he's another one that has he's a, he's up there too. Huh? He's up there. He's a, he has a lot of subscribers too. Yeah, I don't know who that is. I never heard of him. But there's yeah. still, I think, other reviewers out there. I don't know who they are yet. Yeah, he, he there's has. So many, though. I'm subscribed to so many, man. Jesus. I, I, every time I think I'm subscribed to everyone that can be subscribed to already, just some, someone new pops up. 
Yeah, Beard existed. He has 21 point K subscribers. Oh, wow. How could I never heard? How come I never heard of him? I don't know, but yeah, look him up on YouTube. I don't have my uh, other device with me here. They're charging. Hopefully they are. Last time I put it on the charge, it was charging when I left, and when I came back, it wasn't charging. I don't know how the hell it turned off. Y'all got to pick yourselves up one of these. Really nice. Look at that craftsmanship, huh? Isn't that beautiful? How do I feel so lucky to have won this? It's just so beautiful. Oh, yeah. Brian says, uh, Beard Existence and Be the Barber are the big reviewers who started classic grooming. Oh, Beard Existence and Be the Barber are the big reviewers. Oh, okay. I didn't know that either. Were they were were they like uh, kind of reviewers that were like to the side on their own? Is that what it was? Because it seems like there's there a group of us as reviewers that are on IG and we all talk, and then there's other ones that don't do the IG thing or don't do it that much. Like uh, bearded outdoorsman, I just found him recently too. I didn't see him on IG. You think he, I think he is on IG, but I only found him after I found his YouTube channel. There you go. Yeah, I got my Arteus Man candle. I got to try and light that still. Must be nice having 37.8K subs. Yeah. Woo. Well, I have to look him up too. I, I didn't know about him. Hey, but I'm, I'm going to click a bit back to stimulus check real quick. I, I got a little notification, and uh, they said they're still working on it, and it says the legislation is currently on pace to be finalized early to mid-March. Well, let's hope so. Yes, they were more into making beard content and tips than reviews. Oh, okay. They've been making videos for at least five years. Wow. Vato, stop tormenting Billy. <laughs> yeah. And Billy 607 has candles too, he says. <laughs> all right, Rod, it's about time for me to get off. Yep, all right, man. Thank you. Yeah, enjoy being here. And thank yeah, thanks for everybody popping in. Yeah, next time we'll have to uh, go on your channel. Okay. And yep, don't forget, guys, pick you up one of these awesome organizers. One of these awesome fat combs. Really, really great craftsmanship. Look how wide that is. I can't get over how this is the widest comb I've ever seen. But it doesn't feel like it's a wide comb going through. It feels really good going through. So yeah. And get you some jolly old fat man too, guys. And th thanks, thanks for coming in. Appreciate all you guys yeah. very much. Ryan, thank, thank you, you for coming in and hanging out with us too. Appreciate you. Much love, there. Forget, guys, go subscribe to Beards and Banjos and and uh, you know um, John uh, John uh, the Flying Beardsman and Billy and. Uh, Whoever else I said. <laughs> I can't remember now, darn it. I drew a blank. All right. Thanks, Suasana. Thanks again, guys. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Appreciate Thank you. Bye. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. -bye. Bye.